GG's The Mouthful Podcast is brought to you by GoodGame.Tech, the most welcoming gaming community on Facebook. Join the conversation at www.GoodGame.Tech. Yeah, what the hell? I can, <laughs> I can use a couple wanks. <laughs> What's up, everyone? This is Arnaldo, a.k.a. Mad Dog, and this is going to be the real episode 116 of GG's The Mouthful Podcast. Y no fuimos! GG! Nice. At some point, you have to throw a lyric. You, you do. I, 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 I was thinking of something to go with, and I was like, uh, I got nothing. <laughs> So yeah, we're, we're not very figured, good. Yeah, we're not very good. No, uh, not, not, not musically. Reggaeton. Uh, yeah, exactly. Reggaetoneros. <laughs> that, it, it doesn't work. No, I'll, I'll try. I'll, I'll throw it. I'll throw it. Din, 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 da, dun, dun, da, dun, da. No, that sounds like something different. I, I, was, yeah. I was trying to go for Matt Lyon. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can't do. <laughs> dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, dun, da, okay, this is getting silly now. Okay. <laughs> that voice, of course. Also, the voice of the beatboxing <laughs> <laughs> is Mr. David Santos himself, a.k.a. Dream Twister. Back in the day, known as Playero, Playero? DJ. No, really? not really. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> in an old El life 37 sometime. de Playero, people. Okay, no. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, this is GG's The Mouthful Podcast. Please go to goodgame.tech. Join the conversation there. That's the most important part that everybody should do. Uh, second to that should be like, subscribe, and share to this podcast. Sir. Uh, yes, sir. You forgot to introduce our, our third guest. Oh, yes. Our third guest. I'm sorry. Our third guest is Gaming Chair. Gaming Chair, say some words. <laughs> uh I'm not sure what it's saying, but it doesn't seem happy. No, it doesn't seem happy. No. Could be because you're jumping on him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to break it. At this point, so I can be done with it. At this point, I think the issue may be used. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I play. I play very excited. Yeah, yes, you're all over the place. <laughs> all the over. The poor chair can't handle it. Uh, so <laughs> you know? For those who haven't checked out my epic rant, <laughs> epic it, was, it is posted along with a picture of uh, my awesome. Four hundred dollar gaming chair. <laughs> I didn't pay four hundred, but I played close to four hundred dollars. But I think that's what they retail. You normally. got it on sale or something? Uh, no, I had a code. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had like a, I think it was like a Father's Day code or something like oh, that. Wow. You know, I, I entered, give me like like fifteen percent. I don't know. The the thing is, it was whatever it cost me is totally not worth it because these chairs are crap. Oh. <laughs> You'll be hearing more of the chair throughout the <laughs> throughout podcast. the ep- uh, the episode. Yes. Yes. Uh, I have one question from everything you just said there, sir. Sir. Father's Day? Are you a father? I didn't know no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I found I, I think that I think the code was like Father's Day fifteen or something like that. I just oh. remember the code. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. You just took advantage of it just just because. How okay. do they know, right? Yeah, they exactly. Don't yeah. They don't have to I don't have to show the here's the proof of yeah, my yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> here's the little the little twister. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is your first time listening, guys. What we normally do is we go into what uh, we have been doing. Then we go into some news items. uh, And, and of course, our hot topic of the week. Hot topic of the week. Hot topic of the week. This week's hot topic. Did Mass Effect Andromeda get a fair shake? (laughs) I I think it was sabotage. I I, I think it was. And and I love we're coming on this topic of the week, by the way, because neither. Of us have played, uh, have played true, Mass Effect. True, but uh, we have played the other Mass Effect. So yes. I mean that you know that speaks in it, that speaks violence in itself. That, the that, fact that, that we, gives the authority. Yeah. You know, there's a reason why we skip this one. Perhaps yes. And we're gonna you gotta find out soon. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's start the show. Uh, Mr. David Santos, what have you been up to, sir? Oh man. Well, let me start with the movies because I usually don't have a big. Uh, unlike you, I don't have a, a big library that I've seen. It's only, but uh, I did see uh, what's the real name? Oh, the Equalizer, uh, two? No, the oh. first one. Oh, I, okay, I saw it because I 
precisely because I, I went to to the movies. What move? Shit. I went to the movies. I thought you did. Yeah, I thought you posted something. Yes, I don't remember what the hell I, I, I watched. I, I remember, I remember the equal. Oh yes, yes. So oh, I will uh, remember. Yeah. I, I'll tell you. Uh, I went to uh, I went to the movies, but I and I saw the trailer for the Equalizer two, and it got me interested. And my wife was like, "Oh, well, you want to watch the first one? Sure." That movie is great. Yeah, Equalizer is <laughs> pretty damn good. However. <laughs> They are, I felt like that movie, uh, which by the way, it starts... Um, Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington, yes. Th- there is, there's no stakes in this. This He is the Steven Seagal of this movie. He is, like, he was a walking tank. Nothing happened to this guy. Yeah. On, you know, <laughs> you know, exactly. Not, not that I'm spoiling anything like that or, or anything that of, of the actual movie. You know, Obviously, things happen, but he was such a high grade level badass mm-hmm. that I don't think anybody was able to like handle yeah, him yeah. honestly you basically know. he was John Wick <laughs> basically <laughs> yeah, yeah. A, a little bit more subtle even, John Wick <laughs> even John, yeah because even John Wick I mean I like movie. I, I like I would say even when I'm playing games I like to feel like a badass and have yeah. my character look cool doing moves and stuff like that well in movies I enjoyed also, you know, seeing the good guy like just like destroying the floor. But even this was a little too much. A little it was too like, much. Because it, w- I never felt like it had a stake, you know, any any like holy shit moments, you know. Mm-hmm. He was always, he was kicking ass from the get go all the way to the credits roll up, you know. So, and, 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 that, and that was good. Maybe you can give like a short synopsis of, of, of what the, it is. I don't remember the exact like his his exact thing. I know he worked like at a hardware store or something like he wor- that. So yeah, he was he basically at, working like a regular guy. Like um, at a Home Depot. Yeah, yeah. You know, and but of course place. yeah, of course he has he comes from a, a, a background, some military uh, uh background. Which we don't find we don't know out. Yeah, we it's don't not know. even not even part of the story. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes you know? and no. I felt like uh, the movie I felt like he had that part uh, where you find out, oh, you know, obviously he is he is visiting, you know, mem- you know mem- or members that were in the co- government or still part or whatever. The thing is, that's when you actually discover, oh, okay, this is the reason why he's like super mega trained and all that. Yeah, exactly. Um, but they don't delve, they don't delve on that too much. It's like that scene, and then go by and keep <laughs> keep kicking ass. Exactly. Yeah. You yeah. know. So. I'm hoping that the second one gives it a little bit more substance. In his background? Yeah, I'm hoping okay. that I, I'm hoping that it does because I felt like by the end of it, we still left with not much ab- to know about this character. Mm-hmm. I still don't know where he's coming from. I mean, I, I will imagine just like you said, he was military, but they don't. I don't think they even mentioned what branch yeah, or anything exactly. like that. It's just it's that secret. He's a super soldier. <laughs> yeah, 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 I might as well be. I mean, yeah. he, he might as well be. He is the last survive. One of the last survivors of Universal Soldier Pro. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's what this movie is. Oh, sorry, that was hot. Uh, that's what this movie is. Universal yeah. Soldier sequel. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you imagine? Jeez. I will. I was not too long ago. Remember, uh, you know, thinking of Steven Seagal movies actually, and and. That's when I made the connection. Like, oh yeah, just this equalizer was just like Steven Seagal. Seagal. Yeah, where oh, I think it didn't matter only, what the situation was, I he think, would come in and just you know, <laughs> ma- destroy, you know destroy everybody. I think there's only one 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 movie where where and it's funny that we jumped to Steven Seagal now. <laughs> uh, one movie that he a look he got hurt or he was hurt. I want to say there was there was a movie where he Hard was to in kill. the train. Is that the one that... Yeah, yeah, the, spoilers untrained? for Hard to Kill. Hard to Kill, he killed his family at the beginning. They thought they killed him because he was all... He was he was basically in a coma yeah. for forever. And then he wakes up uh, later on and he hunts them all down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Then, he, yeah. Yeah. then he's the badass again, basically, at that point. And he was a badass at the beginning. He was just caught off guard. So He, he is kind of hard to kill. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, 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 yeah. So that was the... I was hyped and I was glad. I was glad that I saw that movie and that that movie gave me the badass uh, craving that I was having, you know, that yeah. I was having for a good action movie. Because I started my week, uh, my weekend uh, uh, last week, very looking forward to watching Sicario. Sicario 2. 2. Sicario 2, uh, The Winter Soldier. No. <laughs> what is it? Something Sicario Soldado, 2, yeah. Days of Soldado. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. Anyway. 
Man, that movie is forgettable. Wow. <laughs> I even forgot the name. Wow. Man, uh, Sicario, I, I really like Sicario, uh, the, the first one. Mm-hmm. This might be one of those cases where I would not discourage you from seeing it because I can see you. I, I can see you getting get, get, getting enough you know from it from the middle, to okay. ma- yeah to make it en- to make it enjoyable and the the the, the thing that I, I found like oh really it was that it was you know when movies have with when you have a movie where you're like uh you know they have the hero and then you have the kid or the well, or the weaker element that you have to protect and yeah. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know, obviously that has been done to death. Well, it, it happens here also. Okay. So it's 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 it's. I think from, I saw that in the trailer. Yeah. 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 Exactly. This is this is in the trailer. I'm not uh, trying not to go into into any details. Uh, most of the stuff that is interesting, you have already seen in trailers. Mm-hmm. You know, so it, you never get you never get like a good like. How can I say it without uh, without spoiling? It, it it doesn't give you the the feeling. There's no wow factor. There's no wow. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. There, there's no wow. If any, if anything, is one of those movies where oh, okay, you know, you're obviously you want you want this to become a franchise. Oh, so okay. you know you're I setting you. up, you know, except that this will be this will be like if the Empire Strike Back instead of finishing where it finished, for example, it'll finish of. When uh, when Lando says, you know, I made an offer, you know, I made an offer, whatever is the quote. Yeah. yeah. And then he opens up and there's that Vader. Darth Vader, yeah. And then the credits roll there. Oh, wow. <laughs> and, you know, not 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 to draw comparisons. I'm just saying yeah, yeah. the level of, OK, so okay, yeah, of being left, left hanging. Hap- yeah. yeah. You're left hanging too much. It's not it's not a cliffhanger if you're not in the cliff, you know, <laughs> <laughs> if you don't even realize you're on a cliff. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's more like, oh. Okay, well, that's that, I guess. That's all, folks. So yeah, I was I was disappointed with uh, with Sicario, but I can't really talk much about it. Uh, you watch it. There are probably gonna be people that are gonna like it. You know, I was probably my expectations. I was expecting like John Wick's level of awesome, uh, of awesome, and action, and is nowhere there. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I I would even though have, they're different movies. Yeah, course. no, no, no. But I would have ex- I would not have and expectations can ruin the movie. Yeah. Uh, well, it um, does it to me all the time. Remember? The cr- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but one of the um, knowing the first Sicario, I wouldn't have expected something to be because the first Sicario isn't isn't that action packed. It's actually no. more suspenseful than anything else. Yeah, uh, it's also very thought provoking, which is why I think the first one is great. Yeah, uh, the director. Uh, it's a diff- this is a different director. This is a different. Uh, team, the it, just the two actors, I think, are the only ones that really are from the original one. Mm. So maybe maybe some other smaller actors in there as well. But for the most mm. part, it's 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 a whole different. The production team behind it is a little bit different. So it's like mm. ah, you know, this is gonna have you're gonna know immediately. This is gonna have some differences. It it, it, it starts. It starts setting up something that you think is gonna be like oh wow. So this is the re- oh no, like it doesn't earn. It doesn't earn the 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 it the, the the place where it wants to go or where it tries to go. Uh, you think you. it's it, it it's it's like well we're gonna make the and you saw this on the trailer. We're going to make the gangs uh, fight against each other. Oh, like, okay. when you find out when you when you find out the reasoning, it's like you you more or less like why really was this the plan. <laughs> It's like this plan makes no sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, but who thought this through? Who thought exactly? It's like, yeah. okay, this is definitely for a movie. Yeah. <laughs> for movie purposes. For only. movie yeah. purposes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was and as you can see, I completely forgot that I watched that movie. Yeah. I, I went straight into <laughs> Equalizer. Yeah. Because equal, <laughs> I got a lot more from Equalizer. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to the second one uh that's coming soon. Uh and and that that was pretty much it for for uh, movies. I have been grasping at anything that to get my attention in gaming. Oh wow! I think I found you know I no I I know I found something so it has a happy ending. Oh okay. <laughs> but it was funny because uh, I I told you about a bigger monitor. I kind of want to take advantage of it. Yeah. I've been looking for games you know that you know to, uh, that to play and. I realized, well, I have already 
if if it's if it's a if it's a game that I will play in a big monitor, I have already played them, so I don't want to play them again. Gotcha. I get this close to like being like, oh fuck it, and and get uh, Battlefield One. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that that was the level of desperation, and it was only because it was it was fifteen dollars. I found it at fifteen dollars. Wow. At the end. It like it didn't load or something or it didn't work like I I couldn't get I, I didn't push for it too much you mm-hmm. know but uh, yeah it was it was really bad I was uh, I, like I believe I I played Final Fantasy fifteen oh. and then I remember why I don't want to play Final Fantasy fifteen uh, I, I I'm sorry that game feels like a low point on 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 fan, on Final Fantasy the franchise even yeah. though yeah on the series even though thirteen was worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that was the bad, you know, but at least I played those to completion. This one, I can see where, oh, yeah, this character's are all right, and this story seems like, you know, it could be going somewhere, but it just doesn't hold your interest because of all the feeling that it has that is kind mm-hmm. of empty. Uh, so uh, so I tried that. I tried playing... Um, uh, what was uh, I... I forgot. Anyway, it, it, there were there were games that I would start and 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 that would not do anything for me. Mm. So I finally just gave up and uh, remembered that there's a demo on on Switch for Octopath Traveler. Correct. Let me tell you about Octopath Traveler, <laughs> son. OMG! I did not expect this to be this level of awesome. I kind of did. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I I knew, but the thing is, because I was looking for like, okay, I want to play something with you know high you know high graphics, something mm-hmm. that looks amazing, something that you know I I was feeling, I was trying to get that, you know that 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 gaming, but uh, nothing fulfilled it. And then, uh, you know, I remember this one and I was like, oh, do I want to play an RPG right now? Am I in that mood? And it's going to be sprites, which I, I know that I, I've always said I love, you know, JRPGs of the past. Final Fantasy VI is you know, one of the best RPGs, uh, certainly the best Final Fantasy. Um, it, but but I, I wasn't really feeling it like, I don't know how this is going to do That's because gonna, it's yeah. going to be sprites, mm-hmm. because it's not going to be, yeah. Dude, this game... First of all, the 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 presentation in this game is like amazing. The music in this game is amazing. The fighting in this game is awesome. Oh wow. The expressions that you get from these freaking sprites got me like, yes, like this is exactly what I was talking about when I was talking about Final Fantasy VI. Yeah. You know, where the little sprites, uh, you know, the 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 little eight, you know, 16-bit characters. They make so many expressions. They, emo- they, emo- they emote, they emote a lot. Yeah, yeah. so well. Exactly, mm-hmm. they emote so well with that limited, uh, you know, that 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 limited mold that you have. Mm-hmm. That it just it brings you. I, I guess I don't know if it's your imagination fills out the rest, but it just you forget that you're playing an eight big game, and suddenly you are in this like adventure, like like when you were a kid and you mm-hmm. were playing Final Fantasy, you know, four and three and six and. And all those, uh, the 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 game has uh, it, it has voice acting. The voice acting is good enough, I will say, for for what they're trying. That there's nothing, there's no stellar performance, or at least what I've played so far. I think I put about three hours. I want to say, um, and I think that's the limit. Actually, I, I think I'm oh yeah, like I'm, a, I'm about to run a, out of the yeah yeah yeah. yeah. But this is a buy. <laughs> I, I, I'm getting this. I can't. Nice. I cannot not continue with this. The game has up a, 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 a peculiar path. Oh, I want to tell you about it. Uh, but graphically, it, it meshes that 16 bit with modern uh, with modern graphics so well uh, that it is really like it, it is beautiful. It's really enjoyable to see, and like I said, the music goes with everything. You know, the it matches orchestra. It, yeah. it matches. You know, the the emo. You know, when it's time to when when there's emotion, you actually feel it. When there is, when you feel empathy for your character, you're like, yes. You know, you <laughs> definitely want to complete this this uh, the stories, and which I guess is the the 
plus and the con that this game has. Uh, I've been certainly been re- seeing some reviews just to see is this up? Should I be getting this? You know, for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. And so far, the reviews have been really good. It it does there. First of all, there the story there there is no there's no world ending event where everybody is fighting for the same goals. Gotcha. This is almost like a vignette, almost like. <laughs> Almost like uh, Battlefield One, okay. <laughs> where you play a character and you see that character's story through, and uh, you don't you don't have to continue you don't have to just play that character all the way through you uh, you know eventually it let eventually that that character let's say he finishes his chapter and then you can choose to continue you know the his second story. chapter of his story or just jump to another area. Uh, the game kind of encourages you to do that, so that at least you have at least four players in your in uh, in your character and your um, p- party. Mm-hmm. When so so it encourages you to to do that, but you don't have to. And you can start with any character, and um, and there are eight. There are eight characters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hence the octo. Yeah, hence the octo, and they all take their path. Their path. Hence yeah. the path. Yeah. The these names at the. I love. I, I don't love know. the name of the game. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah. I can Octopath Two. Like I don't see it. Yeah, <laughs> you know. I hear you. But 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 I will highly recommend this game. The that so so like I was telling you about this. Uh, you know uh, uh, about so you pick your 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 path and and you decide. You you don't even have to get all the characters. You're gonna want to because you're gonna want to see the, their stories. But you can even end this game. With you know not having seen the endings of everybody, but it's okay because then you can jump back in and finish you know you know the, the stories. And, okay. And from what I read on the reviews, there's some stories that are more interesting than others. I I think I picked one that I thought I re- had on, heard on the reviews that is just, you know her story was not like super Compelling. fantastic or anything <laughs> like that. But I'm super enjoying like like I want to see it, you know I want to see it through. Mm-hmm. So 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 that's so that's not the fighting in it. It reminds me a lot of Persona. Oh, in the sense that it's not about. First of all, you have to be very strategic uh, with 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 your with your selections. It's uh, turn based. It's it? turn based. Is yeah. it active it's time true, or no, true it's turn based? True turn based. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can act, uh, activate active time. I, I haven't seen it. But it is it is two turn based. You can actually see okay who's gonna attack next. Oh, it shows you, you the act- path. Yeah. yeah, you can alter that with your uh, with your attacks. Uh, I wish I could describe. There's some nuance to the to the fighting that is that is interesting to know and and that and that is good. I haven't grasped it a hundred percent yet, but because I'm early in the game, it hasn't affected me. Yeah. But I feel I I definitely feel like if I don't grasp this soon, the monsters are gonna kick my ass. Mm-hmm. Uh, the monsters actually sort of level along with your level. Uh, we know with your level. They scale with you. They they scale, mm-hmm. so you don't have to worry about. You don't have to worry about missing. Uh, you know I, I, about if I start now with this other character, am well, I gonna yeah. be under level? So, mm-hmm. You know, also like that. Although, uh, you, I get the feeling that you're gonna want to switch your characters uh, from time to time because. The characters that are not fighting are not getting experience. Mm. So, so you know, so, so that so that's that. But I haven't I haven't gotten that far to see how much that affects. Is it? Well, I don't know if you know this already. So, but is it? Does it open up? Is it an open world? Yes. Or, oh yeah, oh, that's yeah. another. Oh, okay. It has an overworld. Nice. It has an overworld. I lo- that, that's one of my favorite things about JRPGs. And for some reason, we got lost or changed, or now the world is you know a the real world. It, westernizing it, yeah. I love the overworld, and I'm happy to say that this one has it. <laughs> so, so I was so uh, I was so pleased with the end with its own music, where it's you know it's very inspirational. It makes you want to push forward. You know? Nice. Yeah. So the battle that uh, I was telling you, the reason why it reminds me of, of Persona is also because it's not so much how hard you hit, but what do you hit the enemy with uh, to find its weak point. Mm. So you you know that in Persona. Uh, you kind of at first you don't know what are the well the elemental weakness of the you know of the mob of the monster. Uh, you kind of like try attacking with everything until something weakens it, and then you take advantage of it. 
Imagine something like that, except that so far it's not like you're knocked down and the characters don't do anything. I think what it does is kind of they, it pushes their their turn back and you can continue attacking, you know, making your attacks more powerful. Every every character has a different, you know, a different ability. Mm-hmm. Um, it falls into the, you know, it, it it's a little samey in the, uh, it falls into, you know, you have your white mage and your oh, black okay. mage and you have your thief and your warrior. And uh, this but, is something that each of them can be or are each of them a specific class. Each of them are a specific class. OK, I believe I read that eventually you could get a, a second job, mm-hmm. like a like a second, second ability. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's interesting because I like when characters have those combinations. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and I also like one of the characters, which now I'm right now starting with, with, with him or her. I think it's a her. Uh, that has the ability of capturing monsters so that the monsters fight, fight you know, with you. Uh, you oh, use nice. the ability of the monsters. Yeah. Uh, I think in this, in, this, in this case, you could actually... You, you to actually bring them to your side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, and, and, but, but also the, and, and I'll close with this because I, I know I'm extending. I love no, this, this game. Okay. This is a great, this is a, uh, this is a very recent game. This is a good song. Yeah. This, yeah. So, somebody had to mention, uh, Auto, Auto Pack Traveler because I wanted to succeed enough to get, you know, hopefully a sequel in the future or games th- with that, you know, sort of like that. You mm-hmm. know, you're the first moment, you, the first moment you start a game, you see Square Enix uh, logo, you're like, okay, this is, this looks very classic Super yeah. Nintendo. Nice. This is it, it evolves <laughs> cool. that so much, and of course, you're playing it on a Nintendo system, which also you which know, also feels it like, helps a little bit. Yeah, I'll yeah. say, yeah, 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 I agree. I haven't put it on the big screen yet. I've been playing it all the all the three hours. I've been playing in hand, handheld mode, mm-hmm. so I can't wait to you know put it up on the screen. See yeah. how, how it actually looks on the screen. Yeah, uh, I think my I might have to run to Best Buy tonight and get it. Oh, <laughs> I want to get it. I want to nice. get it so bad. Because uh, my three hours are up. Uh, no, but, uh, what I was... Uh, uh, got, uh, got Does it? Th- do you know if it'll let you carry your progress that you've got so far? And yes. Take, okay. That's, that's the good. reason why I have... It, I, and, and that was really smart. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you it mentioned is, that. Because, because nobody wants to repeat three hours. Three yeah, hour, yeah. No, and I wish... I believe that if more games did this, they could potentially improve their uh their their sales mm-hmm. you know a lot more uh, unless they're bad games yeah and then people you know because i Correct, think yeah. i feel like I, I feel like the 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 uh the the g- gaming as it is right now mm-hmm. uh the developer uh, or the publishers are kind of gun shy on doing that so yeah. so their so their thought is more like let them not find out that this game is not that great Correct. You know, rather than Hey, we made a really good product. Let's give them a taste. Yeah, because I think what they would, they, there's also that those small small amount of people who would have that three hour and go, this is good, but I'm not really gonna finish this. You know, they would rather that person buy it and realize and realize I'm not gonna finish yeah, it, it, but you've already spent it. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. So, but, yeah. but but even but even there, I feel like more and more players are getting. Um, inform where mm-hmm. there is yeah they're like was, yeah. they're like us and they listen to podcasts and they read or you get uh by word of mouth mm-hmm. you know you say oh ghost of shishima looks really good you out of you know and, yeah. and suddenly that person is like it knows about it yeah i feel like if there were games that will give you a taste like that i, I think it'll it, it'll serve the 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 industry a lot better yeah because i think we have turned already that page where you don't have to worry about your games being bad. I mean, most of the times, your games are decent. their games are good yeah, or yeah. decent enough to where even a person that might not have an interest, if they try it, they might get hooked. Mm-hmm. They might be like, "Oh, okay, you know what? This is fun. I thought this game was gonna be like a seven, and it probably is, but I'm having fun with it, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna buy it." I, I feel like more games uh, used to do that. Uh, Xbox Live, the original the, on the 360. Every game you remember, every game. Was required to have a demo. A demo, yeah. What happened to that? That should have actually stayed. That was that. That's the that was a great idea because you could test them. Yeah, I yeah. Agree. So so this, all this to, to say, uh, kudos to Square Enix. Actually, I never thought I was going to say that <laughs> uh, for allowing a de- a three a midi demo. Yeah, three hours. I've, I I mean, hear me sing the praises of this game with only three hours that I've played, but I have gotten enough already. Um. Uh, uh, oh, final thought. 
it's a little wordy sometimes. Okay. But uh, which he might, he might wordy take in away. the sense that Wor- wordy in the sense what that is reading as opposed to voice acting. Well, no, no, that, no. The voice uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of exposition, but I feel like maybe that's the first levels. I heard, Correct. I heard that as you play along, you know, as you play it, you know, your 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 introductions are always gonna be like setting everything up, Correct. and they're always mm-hmm. gonna be like introductory and and work. But then after that, it opens up where it's less that. So less I'm that. hoping for it because. There were portions. I mean, I had three hours to play. I was there were portion. I was like, okay, I got you. You know, <laughs> you're killing you know, my you're three hours. To, here, you man. need to do the pilgrimage. You just exactly, you're yeah. killing me with just words. Yeah. Come on, oh man. But yeah, I never felt rushed. Uh, other than that, aside from that, I never felt rushed because I knew that hey, the moment it stops, I'm allowed to keep up. Yeah, you know, to maybe download it directly from the store mm-hmm. from the. So yeah, Autopath Traveler available now was released. Uh, this few, actually yeah. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, uh, very recently. Yesterday, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you have a Switch and you like your old uh, your old uh, RPGs, old uh, JRPGs, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, well, I haven't seen anything. I mean, I call a couple a uh, couple old films, but nothing recent, um, and nothing. Nothing worth really bringing up, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll I'll leave the movies off for now. But uh, I have um, because I finished um, Deus Ex. Deus Ex, yeah. Deus Ex, I, I, was, yeah. I was like, okay, now now I have to dive into that, uh, you know, into the to my backlog to see oh. what I can do. So I started off with a small title, uh, Old Man's Journey, which I did mention was on. I there. remember, yeah. Uh, and I didn't like it, so I I turned it off. And, and <laughs> oh, you you did not like <laughs> I, it. I, it just it was so so old man's journey um this old this old guy obviously um receives a letter and he's like standing at his house or something at the beginning receives a letter um you can tell that he's distraught from whatever's on this letter mm-hmm. and then he goes he goes into his house packs up a bag and then w- goes to walk somewhere to travel somewhere you know um don't know where it is don't know really what only the, the only thing i do know is that he is this you know obviously that letter is beckoning him to go somewhere, you know what I mean? But I don't know what it is. So the way the gameplay works is it's so weird. It's like picture a it's 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 a it's side scrolling, right? Mm-hmm. But um you have these beautiful backgrounds and all this and you have the ability to move the mountains in a certain way so that they line up. So when he moves to the edge of this mountain, when you line it up with the next mountain, he can he literally hops onto the next one. <laughs> you know so you're I mean? moving the background rather the background. than moving him? Correct. All you're doing is point, <laughs> you're you're pointing and clicking to where he's going to walk, uh-huh. but you have to move the mountain so that when you pl- uh, click on that mountain, he he walks over there. And <laughs> it's not just mountains; there's some bridges and so stuff like that. So is it puzzly? It's it's puzzling in the sense that you're like, how do I get him over here or, mm-hmm. or something like that and stuff like that. But it's not there's not a really a lot to it. Um, and then when the particular level that you've the area that you you know you've gone through has ended, he sits down and kind of just you know, like it starts to, to, to think of the past or whatever. And it starts showing images, but it's usually just one image, um, per, you know, per level that you finish. Uh, and it's of a, of a younger person, mm-hmm. probably, uh, with, with a woman, um, mm-hmm. probably a girlfriend or something like that. Don't really know what the, what, what the connection is. And I assume that by the end it will show you the connection, but, None of what was happening was really holding on to me. You know what I mean? yeah. And the gameplay was so. I mean, as, is that really gameplay? <laughs> well, that was that level of basic. Is yeah. this mobile? Uh, it apparently was a mobile. Oh, okay. uh, it was a mobile game. Uh, but it, it, it received, you know, a decent. Um, actually, I think it actually received pretty good um, uh, reviews and stuff. And I was like, okay, I'll give this a shot. But I probably played maybe about an hour. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, it's not grabbing <laughs> I'm done. you. So yeah, I, it's not I, grabbing you. Yeah. I let it go. I was like, I got. I know that feeling. Well, yeah, I got more <laughs> important stuff in my backlog than I need to go through. Um, but since I had already started that, like I already played about an hour of that, I didn't want to jump into something else that's big. So I went to Absolver, which is the game, one of the game free games this uh, this month for PlayStation Plus. And that game is actually pretty freaking cool. <laughs> is it, is it Absolver? I think I think I might have gotten that on Twitter or you know the Amazon thing. Did was was it part of it? 
Uh, I don't think that's Absolver. I might be, I, I, I might be misreading. You're thinking yeah. Observer. Observer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we already established that yes. that was confusing the crap out of me. Yeah. <laughs> Observer and Absolver. Correct, correct. Absolver is the one that is very red. It's no. <laughs> Absolver is the, uh, so it's a game from Devol- uh, comes from Devolver Digital. Um, it is a, the way I can compare this, <laughs> it is, t- it, it is almost like a fighting game. Hola, Miami? Sort of destiny ish, or maybe, maybe even a little bit of Dark Souls ish. Blew, <laughs> you know blew my mind. Yeah. Doesn't have. <laughs> It's because it has some dating sim, yeah. visuals, <laughs> exactly. Visual simulator. So the the game literally Racing starts. Game. Uh, the, uh, uh, these students are what appear to be at like a school, a uh, uh, martial arts school or something like that, right? Mm-hmm. And the master comes and selects one, and he taps them on the shoulder and says, "Come." And then you go to this uh, this woman who gives you this mask. When you put on the mask, you're transported to this world. Um, and once you're transported to this world, now you're in the world with there are NPCs that you can mm-hmm. fight, and there are also other people who are playing, and you can fight them as well. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, this is not the game that I was picturing at all. No, no, no. And it's I was thinking of the one, you remember the one that was kind of the one to be like Hala Miami in the sense of, you know, the violence level, and, and it was top down, and you will be like shooting and murdering people. It was very red. That's why I said. This oh, game is no. very red. I think it was, no. I, I think you think of Ruiner? Ruiner, Ruiner yes. Yeah, Ruiner. That, 100%. That's the one that's that the I was way. thinking. No, no. This is, this that which is another developer did join. But no, this is, uh, so this is 3D. This is open-world-ish. open, uh, open world-ish. You're mm-hmm. most, more like hubs. Yeah. Um, But like I said, the parts of it that feel like Dark Souls or, 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 or Demon Souls or, or the other one is that it's very cryptic there's very there's very little information is given to you as to what you're supposed to be doing um also there's no map so when you're traveling the area you kind of have to look at landmarks to see where you where you're going to um the main point so far is that we have to i have to take out four uh four i don't know Four, I guess, four starting uh, uh, generals or something like that, and then there's like three more that you have to fight, and you have to take them out, and in order to become an absolver, essentially, to get to the thing, in order to become the absolver, the absolver, yeah, the one, and um, it's uh, so the gameplay is actually really good. Um, the the best part of it is the martial arts fighting. Um, you actually learn how to to um. Oh, he's he's looking at the uh, thing right now. Yeah, I put up something. Oh wow, this actually looks. A lot better than I thought. You know, this is actually like, yeah. So basically, uh, you you as you learn, you start you start with a style. Uh-huh. Um, there's like four. Um, Dude, this is full 3D. This is actually this is not this is not like a t- like a small. Uh, no, this is yeah full 3D. Yeah, this yeah this is looks like open world. It, it's not really that open world, but no. So anyway, you start off. You pick you pick an uh, um, a martial arts style, I guess, just to to start with. And then um, as you as you play the game and as you beat more people, you start to learn new uh, moves. Uh, and you also know you also have to flip between stances. The stances mm-hmm. are, you know, you're facing forward either with your left hand first or you're facing forward with your right hand first or you have your back kind of to them or you mm-hmm. have your side to them. So you have four different stances. Each stance, as you see at the so, bottom of the thing. So like katas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Each stance has a different move set. Uh-huh. And you can switch between stance okay, you switch within, it. A, within a combo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. going to say that. Okay, cool. So you so, can switch between while you're fighting on it. Correct, correct. Oh, wow. Um, That's a whole new dimension. Now, the whole deal is, um, uh, you, obviously, I, I died, you die a lot, you know, mm. because, uh, because, you know, you're out there in the open. And you can, you can, <laughs> you can actually be like... Um, like if there are other people playing in the area with you, uh-huh. um, you can just, you can just beat each other up, you know what I mean? And it's just like, <laughs> and it's this weird thing. And um, but so you also, PvP. yeah, there is a PVP. But I, the reason I say Destiny is because it has that again. You, there are NPCs out there, and there's uh, other players playing with you. So it has just Does that, it have a hub area. It has no. There's this one area, and this is going back to the Demon Souls thing. <laughs> there's this one areas that you sit like kind of in front of a. A uh, bonfire. It's not a bonfire, but it's almost like a beacon, a light beacon, uh-huh. or something like that. And you kind of sit there, and that's how you 
you learn stuff or anything. But anyway, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, the, my only issue with it is I wish I had a map because I'm literally. I'm like, how did I get to that place? I gotta <laughs> can't find that place again. You know what I mean? No, you can't find it, and I can't here. find it. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that's the most annoying thing about it. Um, that said, I can see the move, the 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 list of his moves, the character. That, oh, you create your own character too, but this is not really that much of a diversity. There's more. Honestly, you're more creating the hair because you're wearing a mask the whole time. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that's what, yeah. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of uh, of Metal Gear Solid uh, Five. Where you know, you remember mm-hmm. the, the character creation mm-hmm. was so like so detailed. The face you can move everything, and after you create your character, your face character, all that it was for nothing because yeah, you're like, playing as <laughs> Ricky Solid, Solid Snake. Solid Snake the whole so, time. Yeah. It was like what the f- <laughs> yeah, but um, but no. So it's it's actually a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know try a little more. It's, again, it's free, so there's no no point in not. You it's know, still available. Being, it is. It's That's available for a whole month of a uh, whole month of July. And um, oh. and uh, and then from there, the only thing I've been I, I went I got back into um is Gwent. I have been playing. <laughs> I was gonna um, make the joke of the Witcher, <laughs> the, the Witcher Three. I could have won. The yeah, you could have won. Um, oh my god, I, I haven't played it in a while, and mm. there have been a lot of updates to how it works and everything like that. It is so, um, oh god, it's so well crafted, dude. And the, and the actual um, this is your favorite. Of the card games, correct? Yeah, because I played uh, Hearthstone as well, and well, it's okay, it's okay, you know. But this, this feels—I don't know. There's something about this game that just feels so good. I made a strategic decision here, uh, um, because um, you get you get a starter deck for uh-huh. all the factions. I think it's like five factions. Yeah. Um, and it is it is recommended that you really only focus on one or two, right? Right. So. One of the decisions I've just recently make is to pick those two that I'm going to focus on and liquidate the cards from the other starter decks so that I can use that to build. Really? Oh, <laughs> build wow, on top okay. of it. So it was kind of hurtful as I'm liquidating. I was like, no, oh, I can't believe great, I'm doing this. This is a great card. <laughs> but but I, I didn't eliminate any gold. So there's gold, silver, and, and uh, bronze cards. Obviously, the bronze cards are... There's many of them, but the gold cards, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did not because those are damn near impossible you to can't, get. But you can't use them though. The yeah, you can. If you if you decide to go back to have this deck, to, to let's say it's the monster faction, right? Uh-huh. If I decide to go back to the monster faction, mm-hmm. at least I still have those gold cards in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because they're damn near impossible to get. You know what I mean? So, so anyway, but, it, but okay. So would you be? Would you be open to uh, to buying starter pack or to buy more cards? I uh, am yeah. actually. I've, I I was waiting for for I was waiting to do that so that I can see how much how much I have so I can start so I can actually buy with what I've milled. They yeah. call it milling a card, basically just turning it in. Um, so I wanted to see how much I would get from that, and then from that I was able to 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 yeah, buy some more packs. Ten fifteen dollars. Yeah, I might just go for the twenty. Because it's free. The game is free. Oh, and, and you're like, getting a lot of enjoyment out of it. Correct, yeah. it it's worth. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so see, I might just go for 20 publishers, <laughs> it works. It does. It work. Work. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I forgot to Gog, mention. Gog, man. This is a, this is a CD Projekt Red, bro. These guys... Um, I, just, I just freaking love them, dude. I cannot <laughs> wait for... I can't wait for their next... Uh, <laughs> uh, their next project. But anyway, yes. I've been playing a lot of that. Uh, I actually got... Le- it was late to... Something because it's on my it's on my laptop, so it's just easily in and out, in and out, you know. And I'm like, God, it's so good. I forgot to mention that I play Warframe. Did you first yeah. time? Yeah. What do you think? That game is is uh, wait. Well, first off, where did you play this? I'm busy. Okay. Because again, I was trying to look for something yes, that looked good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that I can definitely definitely see why people are hooked. There's a small, no, I uh, know. Never mind. Yeah, I wouldn't call it janky because it's, the game doesn't crash or anything like that. The game has been super smooth. It actually moves and plays really well. Uh, the problem that I had was that the movement was a little too fast mm-hmm. with keyboard and mouse to the point where it was starting to make me nauseous, <laughs> <laughs> and I had to I had to put it down. Ah, uh, that huge screen of yours. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, a I'm, little too immersive. I'm finding, <laughs> I'm finding out because remember there was another game that I told you 
that we discussed that I had the same feeling, right? I'm starting to notice that games are making me feel nauseous. Uh, it was this. Uh, it was uh, Prey. Oh actually. yeah, yeah. Though yeah, I sure. kept playing Prey after that, and I think that thing went away. I think it's making sure that you adjust the the field of view mm-hmm. proper. Correct. Yeah, because if it's too close, you're like, whoa, what's going yeah. on? Yeah. Or if you're too far, it's even worse because then it's like a fish eye. It gives mm-hmm. you that fish eye thing that it makes you nauseous completely. Mm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Warframe was a was all right. Yeah, yeah. It's another free game. But that's but <laughs> but that's another one where it's a grind fest. It is a grind. I don't game. want to do grind fest right now. No. I just I just wanted to try it because they they're coming up with new uh, with I mean I mean that game has been so well supported and mm-hmm. it's doing so well that it's another proof of hey. You you can just give away your I mean freaking Fortnite. <laughs> Hello. You yeah. can give you give you give your game for uh for free and if you do responsible mm-hmm. uh, uh microtransactions, it can work something, you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, but don't, don't try to take me for sixty dollars and oh by the way, now you have the privilege after <laughs> spending this sixty dollars, you have the privilege of buying microtransactions. Yes. Lucky you that will help you finish the game faster. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you know exactly. So. It would, that would let you that will allow you to not have to play the game Correct, that you bought. Exactly. They spend sixty dollars. So but yeah, um the reason I got back back into uh into Gwen is Wait. one because I, I missed it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but another reason is You were a big champion of it. Uh, I, so good guys, I cannot you should try it too, because it's it's Oh, I know it's hard. good. Yeah. I know it's good. It's not a it's it's I mean if you played it in the actual Witcher game, the I did. You did? And it was rough to go back the, to. Um yeah, I'm sure. The actual um I guess the the rules of that particular version of it have been improved and and, mm-hmm. and for yeah. the actual Gwent game, but I'm waiting for the. There's actually going to be a <laughs> it's a single player game that they are making right now for Gwent. Oh, uh, within the nice. Gwent game, you know, and like a campaign, like a campaign. That's yeah. awesome. And it has Geralt and is an op- is like an overworld and all this. I'm like hell, fucking yes. Yeah, that's what I want. That works. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's what I'm waiting for. Really, somebody should actually mod. Oh my god, somebody. There's a, if you're listening, work on this. Make a mod that allows you to, when you go into the Gwent game on the game, it actually loads the real Gwent. And I mean, by the real, oh, Gwent, I oh, mean, yeah, yeah, the, from the Witcher game, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're in the Witcher three game and you go into Gwent, instead of going to the version, it, the gaming version, the Gwent, yeah. it actually loads actual Gwent. That'd like be enough. awesome. That'd be yeah. that'd be killer. That'd be impossible. <laughs> you would never play Witcher Three. I'm telling you, <laughs> you will just be playing that. I mean, you were for the longest time. You were actually like nonstop yeah. playing. I was just playing Gwent, dude. Gwent Everybody, every in time I, in in the Witcher Three, every time you would go to some cat, some uh, uh, inn or some bar, <laughs> and you know, speak to somebody real quick, and there's an option, uh-huh. you know, because you say the, you have a couple things you could say: buy, sell, play Gwent. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah I would ask. Gwent. Hey, yeah. uh, how about a round of Gwen? Yeah. You play Gwen? <laughs> yeah. Oh, buddy. Yeah, it's, it's exactly. Secret exactly. tension. Exactly. Go. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, it's 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 really good. But I'm I'm preparing for that single player um portion of it. And um, but yeah, that's all I've been doing. trailer uh for this week is a little little uh trailer that dropped uh maybe about some like wednesday or something like that for netflix their next big motion picture uh that they are it's coming out was it july 27th july 27th yeah it will be available on netflix obviously yeah. so and they have a, and they have a few actually that this are one, coming yeah. that look oh yeah really yeah. interesting yeah absolutely uh this one is called extinction yes. and we we saw the trailer what did you think, sir? It was weird because <laughs> I, I, I tell you what, it doesn't look like none of these trailers actually, or at least two I can think of that w- that we saw to pick the the one mm-hmm. started as what they will end up being, Correct, yeah. you know. And on this one, you start for, first of all, the character that plays that the, the main role, uh, last name the actor Peña. is Michael Peña. Michael Peña. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know him from he was uh, he was in Ant Man. He was he's the, he was yeah. the funniest one in Ant Man. <laughs> yeah, he's the, he's the funniest guy on yeah. most of the movies. He yeah. he tends he, to play that that type of role, that yeah. silly first you know, movie Latin I think I've, role. I've ever saw him in was the movie Crash. Um, and he is if you haven't seen Crash, 
you guys have to see Crash. That's yeah, I have to see Crash. But um, yeah, that was the first one I ever saw. That was actually that was a while back. But he is slowly everywhere now. You know what I mean? He yeah. has been everywhere. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He has been in uh, and and uh, you, I was trying to remember which superhero movie was it. And my mind was very into was Spider Man, but no, it was Ant Man. It was Ant Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it, but you never like I. You don't expect him to be like he's not playing the role on those on the main role on those movies. He's usually just playing like a, a psych- second like a supplemental mm-hmm. you know role and, and yeah, the, the the funny guy you mm-hmm. know. On this one, he is the main character. He is the 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 protagonist. Mm-hmm. Calling him main character like a video game. He's the protagonist, and the 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 drama of it. It, I first, I first was started thinking like, oh, this is about him and he being maybe could be his schizophrenic or <laughs> he is seeing things and then oh no, the trailer shows you that those things and those visions that he was having, which had to do with like a future, like a dystopian kind of destroyed future, even mm-hmm. though the movie it's placed, it looks like it's placed in the present. Um, it those those are visions of the future actually of 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 a real future like prophetic mm-hmm. uh because those things end up happening i yeah. mean that's from what i from what i gather there's enough in the trailer where it still makes you wonder like okay what is, is this, exactly is this yeah. really yeah. is this really i think it is just mm-hmm. because some of the settings that some of the things that they will show like you know the what appears to be his da- uh, uh his daughter mm-hmm. like hiding away from whatever alien invasion it's an alien invasion an by alien the way. invasion yeah uh that it, he foresees or it looks like he foresees yeah uh and then or maybe he was being told, was, uh, told yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. maybe he was, was a message yeah. from some other being like right. who knows but it's good because they they don't they show enough it's this is one of those good examples of a trailer where they show enough mm-hmm. to to capture your your interest, yeah, but you're still left with questions, and you're like, no, I I, I want to see yeah, this now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think they do this well because even mm-hmm. I remember uh, Bright, Bright was mm-hmm. like that. It was the trailer caught me, mm-hmm. uh, but I didn't feel like it spoiled. You know, it spoiled correct what yeah. the movie ended up being. Mm-hmm. Even if the payout was not like superb or anything like that, it was still entertaining. Correct. Yeah. So this was this this looks something along those lines. It's like, hey, it's. Yes, Netflix is giving it a, a big budget, but it doesn't, you know, don't expect that Correct. huge production value <laughs> yeah, yeah. at the end of the day. Although it looks it's still fairly nice for from what the some of the scenes. I that equate we them to like to your typical movie TVs that that you, you know some, those movies that they will do yeah. for TV release. Uh, or you, would you say a little bit more? I would more say high, more than that. More than that. Yeah, yeah I would yeah, say more yeah. than that because they are Maybe they are and oh, to be fair, a lot of their movies uh, and shows are you know. Less, they don't require a big budget because mm-hmm. they're you know it's not a lot of explosions and stuff going on. No, the moment you start adding explosions, your your budget's gonna yeah, go. <laughs> <explosions, yeah. laughs> you know what I mean? Even if it's not a real explosion, that's probably even more expensive because now you got to digitize. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, <laughs> you know I mean? the, yeah, the explosions blow your budget. Correct. Exactly. Get it? Get it. <laughs> yeah. Blow your budget. Nice. Right here. Right here. Well sir. done, sir. Yes. Thank well you. done. Um, the the so 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 yeah so that was the, it, it was interesting to see that I don't remember a lot of it, so I'm gonna let you pick it up from here. Oh no! I mean that that, that basically I kind of said what it is for the most part, and we'll put it a is, link. It we'll good. put a link to it on the. It's actually on the trailer. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, on the excuse me, it's actually on the. Uh, Alex actually shared it onto the um, onto the group. Oh, uh, okay. but I'll put a link in the uh, in the show notes for this. Yeah, it looks like one of those uh, invasion, you know, alien yeah. invasion movies. In and I, I think it's. It's it's true, you know. I think it's it's. Uh, I don't think he's. Oh, you think it's his memory, or his yeah, mind? Because I was thinking like that. of that at the beginning. Very well, give me the Bible. Oh, it's about his, this guy going crazy. <laughs> yeah. And even though all, all of them, you know, all the characters. Everybody like, sees it. Yeah. What are you seeing? What are you saying? You know, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. All right, so let's get into some news here, uh, guys. Uh, I'm going to start off right at the top with a uh, release date for Dark Siders Three. Uh, I also got a new trailer this week, too, speaking of the trailer. Um, Darksiders 3 will be coming on November 27th, and it will be a full price game, but obviously. Um, did you play any of the first one, Darksiders 1 or 2? I played Darksiders 1, and, and because everybody yeah, everybody praised it. Like they it, you Remember, it, uh, people were, were very high with Zelda Ocarina of Time. Mm-hmm. 
for some reason, this game got like not equated, but yeah. kind of like, oh, Everybody this is the grown man's it. version yeah. of Zelda. This is the grown of Zelda. And it's and like, I couldn't, like, it made no sense to me because I remember playing at the beginning and it was very God of War. It's, and, but in the, it was like a low budget God of War, mm -hmm. you know, the, which is not to say <laughs> that is bad. Let's say it's a, a Netflix God of War rather than well, yeah. a Hollywood God yeah. of War. <laughs> no, <laughs> it was no. a THQ joint. So, a THQ yeah, joint. THQ was always middle ground anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 it was not, you know, Super AAA or anything like that. But it was interesting. You know, the set, the, the setting was interesting. You know, uh, one of the, somebody, somebody fucked up the apocalypse. You know, <laughs> they, they opened up a seal earlier and now so, shit's going it's down. Too, and It's too soon, guys. It's like, really? <laughs> the party was not until tomorrow. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so, but the more I played it, the more I started to see, oh, okay, I see the the dungeony elements mm -hmm. and, and the puzzle elements of it. So, but there was something about the fighting. You know, when a game tries to do so many things th that is never really good on all of them, mm -hmm. it's kind of like you know, yeah, fair on. It tries to it tries too much, it, too yeah. many ideas, and doesn't really yeah, it, it flesh them all out. Yeah, to to me, I mean, there's people that swear by this game and enjoyed the hell out of it, you know. And then the second one was a little bit less accept, you know, uh, like it was not as great, as great, but yeah. it had its fan base. So yeah, I'm, I'm I'm excited to hear that they're making a third one. Obviously, it did well enough, and yeah. Well, that, I mean, to be fair, THQ went out of business. This is THQ Nordic. <laughs> this is the, new, the THQ Reborn. The Reborn THQ, yes. With <laughs> the sequel, the sequel to THQ. Yeah, evidently, nothing related to the original THQ at <laughs> all. And it was like, why did you call yourself? I'm this? so glad they know. did though, because yeah. I feel like THQ is a brand that you don't want to miss. Yeah, maybe it's like missing wide, Atari. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you that's know, true. We yeah. might as well consider it. Yeah, basically. it's gone right now. <laughs> uh, they will, of course, have standard collections. Uh, they have a standard collector's edition, which will run players $149.99. Oh, wow. That's, it that will, of like course, come with a game, a steelbook case, an art book, the soundtrack, the exclusive cosmetic DLC, and an 11-inch Fury statue. Fury, of course, guys, is... The newest character, the sister of the Darksiders uh, protagonist, <laughs> War and Death. Uh, then, for the real serious Darksiders fans, the there is the Apocalypse Edition, which will run you a three hundred and ninety nine dollars. Oh my god! Cents. Are you serious? I'm not kidding. I love when they make uh, collector's edition for series that not a lot of people are yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, like super fans. Like, yeah, I this mean, will be. On uh, on clearance uh, in uh, three weeks after release for say at least a hundred dollars. <laughs> Maybe yeah. uh, that edition uh, will come with three uh, eleven inch statues. There's going to be Death, War, mm -hmm. and Volgrim the Shopkeeper, uh, as well as a four horseman amulet and a thirty inch by forty inch wall scroll. Uh, so that's it. There are four horsemen. Uh, huh? There are there are there four horsemen. Of the apocalypse, I think they're they four, are four horsemen. Apocalypse. So that's that's it. They can only make one more dark siders and then they're done with and the series. It. Yeah, then re it. reboot <laughs> exactly <laughs> the retelling of dark siders. So uh, this game, man, you remember Code Vein, yes. this Dark Souls, like this anime like Dark Souls. That from the moment I saw it, it piqued my interest. Uh, I'm not like the biggest Souls fan, but I appreciate those games. Mm -hmm. This game was looking amazing. This game might have been one of the latest to suffer uh -oh. from uh, delays. Unfortunately, it has been delayed to 2019. Uh, Bando, ba Bando Nankai. I want to <laughs> say it like that. Remember? Bandai Namco has pushed the action role player... Uh, back to 2019, the de the developer cites uh, a desire to further refine its gameplay in order to exceed expectations of would be players. Uh, as a reason for the delay, mm -hmm. uh, this is coming from PC Gamer. Uh, the if you guys remember, uh, Cold Vein received a ma a massive uh, amount of good feedback from fans and. I mean, when it was uh, when when it was shown, this was like the next thing to watch because it was, in it, it combined a very interesting element. It, uh, yeah. it, it looked obviously it looked super anime, 
which speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> and the element of Dark Souls is, 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 is awesome as well. Um, so, so what does that mean? Well, you know, not, not much. They're not going to have it available to be playable at Gamescom 2018 because they're still going to be working, working on, on that. Yeah. I say take, it, take your time because I want this game to be good. Do this game right, is yeah. definitely on my radar. Uh, a game that's been sort of on my radar because uh, I've been looking forward to this for a while. Uh, a, little t- a little title called Chasm. Chasm, Chasm is an Indo- indie Metroidvania game. Uh, and it's been in works for almost six years and will finally hit PlayStation and PC on July 31st. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, it's. let me see here. It was actually a Kickstarter game. In Chasm, you play as a knight in the Gildium Kingdom who ventures into a monster-infested mining town to restore peace to the kingdom. The world of Chasm is composed of hand-designed rooms stitched together to form a -a one-of-a-kind world map that is unique to each player's uh, adventure. It is sort of... um, Roguelike. Roguelike in the sense that there is procedurally generated uh, levels. However... There's only a select amount of them, <laughs> and the reason for that so you're still okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. all you. So I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, I know. When I'm you cu- posted that, you were like, "Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah." And man. then I was like, "Hmm, I wonder if he knows." I do, I do know. Yeah, uh, that's one thing that they they, they they it's sort of real life, but the they did things a little different in this one where you have the ability to select a a a uh, a map. You know what I'm saying? You oh. almost you're able, able to select like a I think they call it seeds. So if you if you choose um, to like let's say there's a walkthrough and you want to use this particular walkthrough, the walkthrough will include this is a seed I was using. So mm-hmm. so all your levels will match that walkthrough's levels. Oh, you see nice. what I'm saying? So yeah. obviously it is that's good. It is procedurally generated to an extent, but mm-hmm. there is a, a continuation. Correct. There's yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah exactly. So oh continuity is actually continuity. Term. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, that 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 is that is really cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because when I saw that game, also it was like, man, I'll be I'll be okay with this style. This, uh, it always looks like a Metroidvania. Yeah, uh, I'll be very okay with this. But I don't know about this procedure generated. So. I, like I said, I and I normally avoid those. Although I've played some and and enjoyed games like that, but for the most part, I, I I'm old school in the sense that I want to remember the level you know <laughs> i want to be able to know that if i die i can go back to the same area and it'll be the same uh but yeah it's coming out again on the 31st of july and it'll be 1999 nice nice well this next piece uh i want to apologize in advance because you're gonna be this is gonna sound very pcmr oh so i'm just gonna talk about it and uh just uh, bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> By all means. So Monster Hunter uh, World PC will look about as good as it does on the PS4 and Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> it won't feature much support or crossplay. I, I don't think anybody was expecting crossplay uh, on this. Or, or, or maybe it, it could have had. You can't but expect it, it from PlayStation 4. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, and I love, this is, uh, this is the quote from VG247. Uh, the PC version of Monster Hunter World is looking more and more worrying by the day. <laughs> and, this, and I can see you're literally <laughs> rolling your eyes. You're literally rolling your eyes because you still don't understand. I, no, I understand. The, That's, the, the part is, no, finish the story <laughs> and then. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, sometimes uh, after confirming the PC release date of Monster Hunter World and revealing uh, its surprising high system requirements, because my, the, the, ha- the game has uh, some high system requirements to keep it at 30 frames per second. <laughs> <laughs> so they haven't mentioned if, it's, if, if the game is locked at 30 frames per second or if the system requirements that they gave is like, no, 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 this is to make it playable. At 30 frames per second. Mm, <laughs> so, uh, so, so yeah. So, despite the steep requirement for 30 frames per second, uh, a game producer, uh, Ryoso Sujimoto, confirmed to PC Gamer that Monster Hunter World will look about as good as it does today on PS4 <laughs> and Xbox One. Uh, and then the quote continues. Uh, or the quote says... Uh, when the game launches, the visuals will have parity with the console versions. 
Uh, that might as well be a bad word <laughs> for any <laughs> PCMR. Uh, but we are considering releasing a free update after launch, end quote. <laughs> Uh, Sujimoto did not elaborate further as to what sort of upgrades the player can expect from the free update, but it's probably safe to assume that it won't be anything massive. Yeah, I also think that I don't think it's going to be anything massive over here. Um, uh, uh, Sujimoto also uh, revealed that the PC version will be different. Ver- will be a different version from the console, meaning that the monsters added to the P- to PS4 and Xbox One uh, post launch won't be there on day one for PC. Oh, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna spread out like they did. They're gonna exactly. Okay. They're gonna be rolling them out. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're gonna be rolling them out at a little bit of faster. I would pace. hope so. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking that the goal is to eventually reach uh, parity with the with the cons- with the console as far as really uh, the, uh, the release. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, you won't see. You know, you won't have your Palico dress as a. Street Fighter character, yeah. <laughs> or, or yeah. not, or no, you're the one, you're the, or, the, uh, or because I have, I have the armor to make my character look like Aloy, like Aloy, so, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You won't so see that. that, yeah, that, yeah, that, that, might as well. We can confirm that that's not gonna be. I'm thinking probably someone's gonna make, or they're gonna have one to make it look like uh, Gordon Freeman, <laughs> <laughs> because of course, if you're talking PC, I guess that's the mascot. <laughs> Freaking Gordon Freeman. Uh, of course. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Freaking Morgan Freeman. They go, Gordon Freeman. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> uh, let me see. If there is an issue, oh, uh, for bug fixes, however, and balances, uh, they say that they will. Uh, they will be a case by case situation. Mm. If we find bugs that are happening only on PC, for example, uh, or issues uh, arising from the title. Uh, update then we will put our patches out on each platform as soon as possible if the issue is common on all platforms however uh, doing it piecemeal will be less preferable than fixing every version at the same time uh, so that everyone has the same experience so in other words they're gonna if it's affecting everybody then you know they'll they'll, they'll release it, it to everybody at the mm-hmm. same time but if it's there's issues I said, you see, they're gonna see okay how bad is it mm-hmm. So all this to say that, um, yeah, this Monster Hunter uh, version uh, on PC that everybody has been, or the not everybody, but the PC gamers have been waiting for, it is, uh, I, I will put it as, hold, hold, <laughs> hold on it. Let's see some reviews. Let's see some reports on it. Uh, hopefully a beta. I doubt it. But uh, yeah. Or... Or <laughs> I knew it. I was setting you up. I was setting you up exactly for that. Or just or. played on the goddamn console. <laughs> Listen, you might not have a what. What makes you immediately think that owning a PC means that you have the the funds to own a console? Maybe That's you not, don't own a console. Uh, Maybe you can't play. Absolutely. And PC is the only way you can play it. Poor then, little PC. Yeah, but the only thing. you're getting the same game. <laughs> what <the hell? laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. You kind of have to wait <laughs> because <laughs> you're getting you the exact same game. What are we complaining about here? <laughs> you're it's getting the same game. <laughs> it should look and run better. <laughs> by default, by by the definition uh, of PCMR, it should run <laughs> at a limited frames <laughs> and it should have other resolutions and it should be moddable. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the last, the la- the latter one, I don't care about so much. But yes, on the frame rate, because if it's not at least sixty frames per second, then GTFO. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this <laughs> this kneecapped of crap that I can just Appa- play on the console. Apparently, it's not kneecapped if the if your system requirements are ridiculously high. It's <laughs> like <laughs> system requirements. <laughs> Hey, you have to have. Uh, by the way, did I? I don't believe I mentioned this is a requirement. Is it here somewhere on the story? Hold on, let me just check real quick. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I, I think I got them. I think I got them. Pre-order bonuses. Yada yada yada. Okay, this uh, P twenty four seven has a video for it, and I'm not gonna put a video to find that out. Anyway, when they say Steve. And they're talking about 2018 uh, PCs. I sort of get worried. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> it sounds. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got them. Uh, okay, so processor, uh, a processor, an Intel Core i5 4460, 
Uh, I think that processor came out on 2014, I want to say. Uh, or AMD FX 6300, 8, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, uh, NVIDIA GeForce 760 or AMD uh, Radeon R7 uh, 260X. These are these are no slouches. These are, I mean, th- th- that's not the top of the line or anything yeah, like yeah. that. But it's not the bleeding edge. But it's not the bleeding edge. But yeah, th- those that's those are the minimum yeah, yeah, requirement. Yeah. The standard requirement <laughs> it, it says an i core. Uh, I mean, an Intel Core i3 8350, four gigabytes. Or Intercore i7 3770. That's the co- that's yeah. that's the one I'm running on my on my setup. I have an Intel 3770. That that processor came out in in 2012, but I haven't upgraded it uh, because I haven't feel the need to. It's still it, it's still you know <laughs> it's, it's looks still like good. it may be soon. <laughs> I might have to soon exactly. And a and a GTX 1060 <laughs> or a Radeon uh, 570X. A 1060, that's no slouch either. That is a hefty video. That is, a, at the very least, at least a $250, $250 uh, video, video card, card, which is on the low on the low end of really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. So, yeah, man. Yeah. I, I, by the way, I, I you understood everything I said, right? <laughs> For the most part. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but just GeForce what? Uh, GeForce TV. GeForce TV. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the Radeon what? Uh, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> the Radeon, that's the you need the Radaways for that, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. Next uh news piece here, sir. I know you like this game. Near Automata. Oh yeah, oh, give it to me. Oh yes. Uh twenty seven one of twenty seventeen's best game. It's about uh, to return to twenty seventeen's best game. I will one argue. of one of twenty seventeen's best. All the games came out on that. That is a horizon. Yes, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is clearly a That's 32. <laughs> better game. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> um it is about to return in the form of two short fiction pieces. Uh near automata long <gasps> You're gonna get you yeah. talking. Yeah. talking. Uh, one is called the first one is called Near Automata Long Story Short, and then <laughs> that's what it's called. Yeah, and then the second one is called Near Automata Short Story Long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they will be. I don't think I want to play that one. <laughs> it sounds like a stretch. Uh, they will be uh, released in English <laughs> over the next year and add context to the story of the uh, action game. But wait a minute. So what are these books? Are these these uh, are novels? Yeah, these are these novels. Are, yeah. So the short first one, story, lo- <laughs> yeah, long story short, is a novel and set to release I'm October get, this year. I'm gonna get it. Uh, I'm gonna the, get the audiobook. <laughs> <laughs> the long story short is the novelization of Nier Automata. Oh, game, nice. Right? Okay. So good. basically, this is essentially the game in novel form. Uh, yes. And it, of course, include previously unknown details and character thoughts and all this good stuff. And then yeah. in spring of 2019. Uh, will release the short story long. Uh, short story long is a collection of short fiction and novellas set within the near universe. Mm. Okay, I thought it was gonna be is the game based on the book, <laughs> based on the movie. <laughs> on the game, yeah. <laughs> uh, let me see. The long story short is set to cost fourteen ninety nine for just a standard paperback version. Probably the same amount, roughly for a well, if you have. Audible, I assume it'll come out on Audible, but it's going to be October 9th will be the first one. Long story short. Uh, so, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> long story short. Long story short. It's getting released. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting released on October 9th. Dude, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, <laughs> and uh, fanboyism aside, I, I, I joke when I say it. it's uh, Nero was a really good game. I think I was more impacted by its soundtrack, mm-hmm. which I will definitely defend and take to my grave. That that is one of the best soundtrack of any game of all time. I will take that to my grave. Now, uh, you're gonna have to. As far as I will fight, I will fight you to the nail, sir. <laughs> I will declare war <laughs> on Castle de Martin. No, uh, <laughs> the 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 game the game is good, but I realize it's it's there's some people. That don't have any taste. <laughs> no, <laughs> that are it unrefined. Is, it's it's <laughs> one kidding. of those. I'm kidding. Yeah. I, there's some people that are gonna, you know, they're gonna see it. And it's oh, this it's it's just it's another a good action game. Yeah. They look at it as a good action game. Um, yeah. There is obviously uh, a meta story within it, uh, mm-hmm. which is actually pretty fascinating. But I have 
uh, I've played or watched films or done other stuff that kind of had those yeah. done already. So to me, it wasn't anything impactful because I'm going, oh, well, I've they did, it, they've yeah, done I've this. this yeah, you. yeah, exactly. So. Uh, that's cool. You know what else is cool? Robocop is cool. Who? Who? Robocop. Robocop is cool. Robocop is awesome. Yes. And guess what? Robocop will return in Robocop Returns. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That's, that's what the they're calling Robocop it. Returns? Yep, oh, that's what God. they're calling it. How original. <laughs> <laughs> De- uh, Deadline reports that MGM has hired District 9 director Neil Blomkamp. Blomkamp. Neil Blomkamp. Yeah, yeah. District 9. That's actually, uh, he's actually a pretty good um, sci-fi uh, film uh, director. Yeah. 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 So... Uh, he's gonna be directing uh, uh, to to make you know to make RoboCop Returns, which is sort of a sequel slash reboot to the original 1987. Uh, the 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 uh, Paul Verhoeven uh, Verhoeven even what was the name Verhoeven yeah Verhoeven thank yeah. you uh, film. You know, not this reboot <laughs> that we got. <laughs> so, oh, that's right. Yes. So it's gonna be. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be that original. Not not this weird. The last one that we got. Yeah. bluish version. No, it's <laughs> gonna be the original one. You know, I hope that. You know, I hope they have Ed two hundred nine because that's one of my favorite robots. In. <laughs> that's one of my favorite robots uh, of, of 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 movies. Actually, oh, yeah? yeah, I really like his design. Okay, I used to fantasize as a kid. That that I was gonna die, <laughs> and I was gonna be awakened, and that that was gonna be my body. It's gonna be oh, my nice. head. It was gonna be my head, yeah. but my body was gonna be the body of at two point. <laughs> I mean, two or nine. Two or nine. Yeah. Yes, I swear to you. Wow. The only problem, and and I will be, uh, and, and I will be uh invincible. I mean, I will. The only problem was the stairs. <laughs> The what? The, the, the stairs. stairs, yes. Remember, get up the stairs. You yeah. get to get like, up and down mm, the mm, stairs. Mm, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Oh, the stop motion on that. Yes, oh, that was. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> it's it's one of those. It just first off for stop motion on live on live action is probably one of the better ones that was ever done. Yeah. Um, that movie was so graphic. That, dude. they have? They can? Yeah. There has to be a hard I R, hate, guys. I hate the do fact not. that they. St- Decide they they dig. I hate when they do this, man. Mm. You have a property, it's awesome. You think like, oh man, this is great. It made us a lot of money, but you know what will make us a lot of money? If we make it mainstream, yeah. and suddenly it's like we get RoboCop two, which yeah. wasn't great, but okay. But then we got fucking RoboCop, RoboCop three, Cop which two, was a, yeah, RoboCop two was still rated R. Um, yeah, that's and true. It was that's really true. graphic. Um, Robocop, Robocop three was though not, yeah. it was not. That was yeah. I think it was PG. Yeah, thirteen. Mm-hmm. 13? Okay. Yeah, 13, okay. Yeah. It had the that robot had a jetpack. It was jetpack. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was <laughs> fucking. It was. Stupid. It was really bad. I did not care to remember. I, I would not revisit that one. Forget it. <laughs> but yeah, um, be excited. Let me see. Uh, there's a little bit more on it. Justin Rhodes from Terminator Six is uh, rewriting a script by Ed ne- uh, Newmeyer and Michael Miner, mm-hmm. uh, who also wrote the original film. Uh, the pair wrote a sequel script after they wrote the original movie, but it never got made due to the to a writer's strikes and Verhoeven's lack of interest in doing it. Uh, two unreleased sequels follow. Unrelated. Sorry. Two unrelated sequels follow. And a long time after uh, it came that the 2014 reboot. Uh, uh, but none of those uh, but none of those told uh, the story of the original follow up idea. Uh, that script and the ideas they you know the, they 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 never got they never got they yeah. never got uh, done. So this is good because are we gonna hopefully just like you said are we gonna be seeing a return to form uh, on hopefully. Robocop? Hopefully, you know, I thought the problem is they already made Robocop. They already made the Robocop cartoon. Oh wow! So yeah, yeah, it, had, yeah. It, it got super kiddie yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. So the point is like okay, you can't. I I can't see it. Going back, I mean, it's not, it's 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 not uh, unheard of. Mm-hmm. They did it with Wolverine. They did, or Logan, yeah, or Logan, yeah, yeah with Logan, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You no, know, it's not unheard of. It just it takes uh, it takes. You know, they they have to understand that it's going to be probably a lower budget. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna have to work with. You're gonna have to make this stuff. 
and you have to work with the budget you're going to get because if it's going to be rated R, it's not going to, they're not going to spend a hundred million on this. Mm. So it's going to have a lower budget. Um, and also it's going to have a lower, uh, return, you know, and, and the, the movie company has to accept this and be okay with it. Yeah. Uh, and if not, then, you know, I don't know. I, I, I'm excited for Me a too. proper RoboCop. I am for a good. I wish they would call it RoboCop. Well, they sort of this when they say RoboCop yeah. returns. Yeah, I like that. I guess that makes now it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, my last piece, sir, uh, to keep it on the movie front, the Mortal Kombat movie reboot. Mortal Kombat. Wait, did you say reboot? Reboot. Yes. Ooh, yes. Nah. Uh, apparently, that is in. Uh, I've been. They've been trying to get this going for years now. But uh, the latest form takes the form of a reboot to the full franchise uh, and has as a director and screenwriter, nobody I've ever heard of. But at least that's moving along uh, perfectly. One of the big differences here is that this reboot is going to feature feature uh, an original character in the lead role that's not part of the game called Cole Turner. Uh, he's described as a struggling and widowed boxer boxer mm. uh, who cares more about his young daughter than anything and is said to be incredibly determined in the face of adversity and some of the ca- ca- uh, characters that they've already uh, announced Kano, Sonya, Ra- uh, Raiden, uh, Liu Kang, Shang Tsung they will be returning uh, there's also some uh, other characters probably from the uh, like the, the later versions uh-huh. Dramen, uh, Nitara, Raiko uh, and of course, uh, well, not included, believe it or not, is Sub Zero, Scorpion, or Johnny Cage. So, oh, not sure. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you, you gotta you you're gonna call a Mortal Kombat uh, reboot and not have Sub Zero, Scorpion, and Johnny Cage. So far, Johnny yeah. Cage plays an actor. Which is, is that hard to find for a movie? I guess so. <laughs> no, uh, man. Yeah. Okay, so this went completely <laughs> south at the end. Uh, this may this last part here may actually like push it, the, push it further south. Oh God! <laughs> Somewhat surprisingly, the casting breakdown for Raiden uh, indicates that he'll be portrayed portrayed. Excuse me, by a fourteen. Plus Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> by, no. <laughs> That's all wrong. <laughs> no. A 14-year-old boy by the name of Jin. What the yes. hell is so, that? Come on. That's right, in, apparently. Yeah. Come on. That's not a thunder god. That's a thunder kid. Well, that's a, a thunder cat. Like <laughs> no, man. Yeah. Oh, come on. Is it? Oh. All right. I'm going to tell you. Uh, that's it. I've had it. I'm going to tell you everything that's wrong with America. Uh-oh. Okay. You're going to come in and you're going to get pro- uh, projects from or, or all properties. Mm-hmm. And you're going to try to revise them. You're going to try to modernize them. When it is clear that you don't have a fucking idea of what those properties are, what they meant for the people that are fans of them, mm-hmm. and and and, it, and don't have any respect for it. Because all you want is the brand. Yeah. All right. They want to basically cash in on the brand. Yes. Yeah. I'm talking about Thundercats Roar. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling you were going. <laughs> when I saw and this is all news and I realized and I'm sorry, uh, Gio, for bringing this up uh, again. But I mean, it must be said because here is yet another example, you know, of a property. I mean, it's, this started way back with the Transformers. When the Transformers movie came out, uh, you know, and, and everybody was excited because, ah, oh, it looks crazy good. And uh, let's make Bumblebee a fucking Corvette, which that makes no sense. That's no, okay. It's going to get explained in the Bumblebee movie. Oh, <laughs> so, oh, kill me now. Actually, that's not about it. <laughs> Think about it. Even though I, I don't care about the Transformers. But anyway, but that's, but that's the thing. You start getting this old property, getting this, thing, and, and, and like, hey, <laughs> Try to. There's one thing about yes, you want to be creative and you want to make it relevant mm-hmm. to the era, but don't shit on it all. all you know, yeah. all, all, all over with like silly ideas. Like, come on, reading a 14 year old is is that what? First of all, is that what you saw in the game? No. I mean, you're basing it in the game, or are you loosely basing it in the game, like the movie Doom? You know, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and. And 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 uh, and also, you have characters that are like critical. That's like saying we're gonna have a Street Fighter movie, 
that doesn't have Ryu and Ken. Okay, then what the hell do you have? Then? Kind of, yeah. really? Well, that was Chun Li. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Street Wait. Fighter Chun Li. Yeah, you did. I, I remember. Yeah, yeah, but that, game, that movie was god awful. Did it? <laughs> was it worse than uh, the, it, the the the? Oh my god, Van Dam. Van Dam. It in a weird way. <laughs> Yes. Oh my God. Uh, Van Damme's uh, uh, Street Fighter movie, <laughs> uh, which had every character. Yes. Um, it, as it was campy as all campy yeah, get out, but yeah, you know what? Was there was a certain charm to it. <laughs> I, I guess maybe in, in you know watching it now, like at first I walked out of there going, "What the? <laughs> of, fuck of course it's gonna be you know dressing." I mean? blue <laughs> yeah yeah you know and and then you know and then of course you you know through time i've watched it again and i remember and i, I think about it and i'm like uh it's a <laughs> stupid movie you know but chung lee no chung lee, nothing chung lee was no good period <laughs> see just plain bad <laughs> <laughs> just there's no there's no campiness to make it at least a little redeeming quality oh if my you're, god if you're in the mood for a campy whatever <laughs> it's just God awful. It's bro. like it's like when they did uh that Dead or Alive movie. I haven't seen that one. Oh, no. I heard it was yeah. <laughs> no bueno. I saw the dra- the the live action Dragon Ball Z movie. That was oh, pretty god. horrible. Oh god. <laughs> so, Are these people yeah. that, do they not have I mean <laughs> do they not have <laughs> you don't even need to have the vision. You just need to hire a fucking consultant. That's it. Just uh, that's yeah. all. It t- just help. Hey, you, you can hire me. I can consult. Yeah, I, I know I about tell. freaking. And uh, you know what? You don't even have to pay me what the, the <laughs> charge. Is. Just, just give me the name of the credit. I'll be okay with that. Just let me. Let me just say. You know what? That movie was gonna look like shit, but I fixed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I had an eye it's on it. It's because of me. <laughs> <laughs> the know? story might be nonsense and it might still be crap, but at least the character looks like exactly. it was supposed to. You know, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it mean, is faithful to the to the original project. I've seen fan fiction. Uh, I mean, um, yeah, fan movies mm-hmm. on YouTube that, that are, amazing, are yeah. strikingly better. The Mortal Kombat uh, series, I think that I was, I think that was part of uh, Machinima. Um, mm. that was pretty freaking awesome. Mm. That was pretty, uh, pretty, and the Street Fighter one too, which I think was also part of the, the Street Fighter yeah. one was amazing. Yeah. yeah, what Hollywood can't do that? Is, is that impossible for them now? I don't know. See, the problem is, and this is when it comes to that particular type of franchise, a fighting franchise. Mm. There's this need to include all these characters. Yeah, and in the end. No one ever gets. You're mm-hmm. never going to be able to flesh them all out. No. So when you're able to focus on just two, or mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying you you'll and 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 then make the story compelling, then yeah, then, then you'll have. Then it. Yeah. But with stri- fighting game, fighting games into movies are never well gaming into movies uh-huh. has yet to <laughs> has yet to to you know bear us any good fruit here you know what <laughs> i mean so what the hell you know like yeah. you're gonna pick a fighting game you know so yeah but yeah that's all i got sir oh well let me see i have one more piece and this one i don't know how i feel about it it might be good it might be bad but uh so there was this guy that created uh you know how you remember when konami took down pt mm-hmm. you know so the and and that demo or you know playable trailer. pseudo game or play, yeah playable trailer yeah. <laughs> it was great mm-hmm. it was very it was scary as hell yes, it was it amazing was. quality it's yeah. like yeah so it was it, I, I mean I I I do remember and I don't know if this happens to this day but I think consoles if if you if, if I, I seen on eBay consoles uh, PS4s that have a copy of PT copy, and yeah, actually PT, going yeah. for that, like that's a value, you know, yeah. like going for higher. I mean, you can't get it anywhere else. No, you know, no, what you mean? can't and download it's it. Not, and I know it's a small little, a little, uh, it's basically a trailer, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But it's a small thing, but it was so it well, was well crafted, crafted. you was, know what yeah. I mean? It was like, and yes, that little, uh, maybe half hour or 40 minutes that I spent in that was probably some of the scariest <laughs> gameplay I have ever, ever experienced, yeah. you know what I mean? So, I honestly, I, I I'm actually a little. It, it pisses me off that we're never going to see what that final product could have been for or Silent Hills. I think it was what, what the final name was going to be. Well, but um, what if I told you? And this is how this is why PC gaming is cool. Also, <laughs> I'm going to use that. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> what if I told you that somebody created PT on PC? Uh, I think I saw that's what it's called. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I it saw something on it, but I kind of sk- skipped over. Yeah, so they yeah because you saw PC it? and you were like, "Oh, no, this is for me." No. So, <laughs> so somebody created, it and it was it, it was really good. 
Is yeah. it like a exact copy of it or I not I think I think it's 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 meant to be I, I don't know the details of how well it, it you know, how yeah. how close it was. Let's just say it was close enough to uh get Konami's attention. Oh. And Konami's call. And unfortunately, they asked the guy to take it down. Of course. <laughs> of course they would because Konami is going to go. No, wait, hold on. Mm-hmm. There is a little bit of a silver lining on this. <laughs> there are PCs out there that have it currently downloaded <laughs> and you can get them on oh, eBay. Forget, for, forget <laughs> it. Of course you yeah, can. Yeah. Of course you can. Uh, somebody actually created a really good compilation of uh, Street, Streets of Rage. Mm-hmm. I think it was so good that it was all it was all like all Streets of Rage as one game. It was something like that. It was crazy. It was only available uh, on PC because of course it was like, you know, done yeah, you on the side. You can't do it. Yeah. And of course they got, got the takedown notice. I kept a copy on it i have it hidden and nice. i wanted to torrent it but then i chickened out <laughs> <laughs> and i figured okay there's some more people that have it yeah, you know? sure. i don't want to have a takedown for the sake of you know unless it's like this guy that uh, well i'll read you the news courtesy of uh, vg247 uh, uh so uh 17 year old uh kim sar kim sar we're gonna call it queen queen sar maybe mm-hmm. uh was contacted by konami around 5 a.m <laughs> This time, and it was told that the company really liked the remake, but due to legal uh, issues, the the project had to be taken offline. So they will, instead of slapping him with a cease and desist, Mm -hmm. which is what we expect Konami to do, or what any company would do, yeah, 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 yeah. They actually, but especially Konami, (laughs) uh, they actually uh, called him. Uh, they told him, you know, they apologize. Uh, the person that called, you know, apologized for be the bearer of bad news. Or, uh, you know, they have to they explain why he had to be taken down. Uh, but from there, the conversation went from really bad for for the guy to really good, actually, kind of great because Konami offered offered him an internship. Oh wow! So uh, you know, at the end, and that's always. You know, uh, that's always really good. I mean, he spent. Oh yeah, they were probably impressed with the with his. They're like, impressed yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. They spent. Uh, oh, by, by the way, there, 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 there's a there's a trailer here. We can watch oh, to well, see they, how yeah. scary or how close he was. Um, Quimsar said that he spent over uh, around 180 hours developing the remake. Uh, and there's a video on YouTube. You can just uh, look for PT for PC version 0.9. Uh, the let me see. Uh, it was the de- um, the demo was up on the. Okay, yeah, this is just telling how it was taken down. Uh, from from the PS. What, what so PSN has a version. Yeah. So essentially, he's he's interning now at Konami. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, he was. Yeah, uh, and you know they could have actually they didn't have to do that. They could have just no, happened with a uh, season to season. That's the end of it. But the fact that you know they were, uh, I guess, impressed enough, or I guess, I mean, they wanted to give it. It was a project of passion, mm-hmm. and depending, I guess, depending on who who you are, if you see someone having that effort to go, you know, go through all that to make that, and also it looks impressive, mm-hmm. you you yeah, you, yeah. you ought to at least offer yeah. something in return, yeah. you know. You know, maybe not a payout, but kind of a payout in the fact yeah. in, in that. I mean, it's it, it puts him on the it puts him on the map. And now, I mean, he may not want to stay at Konami. I mean, we all know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the work environment. You there don't want you don't want to place. have yeah. an email six seven one five x, you know, at Konami dot net, and then have it change and all the other horror stories that you hear yeah, from. Exactly. But that's all I have. All right, guys, we're back and we're going to go right in to our hot topic of the week. Topico caliente de la semana. De la semana, indeed. Uh, hot <laughs> topic, guys, this week. <laughs> <Semana> indeed. <laughs> Did Mass Effect Andromeda get a fair shake? Um, I, <laughs> More like Mass Defect. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I coined that. <laughs> nice. Oh. Um, this came up um, from a tweet. So uh, you may not 
you may know this person, you may not know, but he's one of the developers out in Bioware uh, who was behind um, Dragon Age, Dragon Age 2, uh, and a lot of the Mass Effect. Uh, he's also currently, they're currently working on Anthem. Uh, he tweeted out, and it's funny because he starts off the tweet with, I'm, pr- I'm going to regret this in a half an hour, but let's talk about, did Mass Effect Andromeda get a fair shake? <laughs> you know? So that's the reason I use uh, that particular <laughs> phrase, uh, because that's exactly how he put it. Um, it's, it's rather interesting, and you know what? I'm going to start with this. First off, before mm. I even get to the tweet, ah. how do you feel about the original Mass Effect uh, trilogy? I... I love Mass Effect. Uh, the from from the first one on, on Xbox when it was released and 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 uh, it was uh, a, a hit because it struck perfectly the the balance of RPG and Star Wars and sci-fi. Yeah, yes. and sci-fi, mm-hmm. kind of like Star Wars. To me, mm-hmm. it felt, um, which is to say, sci-fi, obviously. <laughs> but uh, but but I mean it in the sense that that feeling of realizing your 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 imagination your kid imagination of oh i want to be han solo and i want to be you know and i'm gonna be you know luke skywalker yeah, and yeah. stuff like that and playing a character that you basically uh fulfilling uh, a, a similar role you mm-hmm. know you are uh, you know you are the one that gets to you know save the galaxy and and mind you i know that games get criticized the first one gets criticized uh it, it with, with reason for some technical things, you know, some crazy load times, <laughs> some of the slowest <laughs> elevators in the history of <laughs> gaming and stuff like that. But I, I thought it was, I thought the game was great. Uh, the second one was my favorite. I must have, I actually beat that game, I think, three times. One oh, of the wow. few games that I've actually replayed and replayed because it was amazing. Mm-hmm. It, at first, one of the, one of the best. If, if if I'm not remembering any new recent really good openings, I feel like this is one of the best gaming openings of all time. Yeah, the second one, yeah. Because you do not expect what happens on that. And when it happens, well, I guess we could talk about it. Right? Yeah. It's basically you you get killed and your and your uh ship gets destroyed. You mm-hmm. see at the very beginning. At the, the very game. beginning. <laughs> at the very beginning. And then and then Fade to Black, Credits. Mass Effect 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. there you go, in your face. Yeah. And then, of course, you get, you know, you get revived, you get with the regenerated, regenerated and revived and, and stuff like that. That game was fantastic. And it's funny because they put in, uh, elements of the concern, the fact that the fact that they had to regenerate you and that was still what it sounded like in the game. That was still fairly early technology. Yes. So there was concerns is this the same Commander Shepard? Are, oh. are they going to be a little bit? And that's why That's why if you do a lot of Paragon decisions, you notice that your face gets more and more, you know, more and more de- uh, deformed. Deformed? Or yeah, renegade yeah. decisions. Renegade. I'm sorry. Renegade decisions. Yeah. Okay. They gets a little bit more scarred up and all this. Oh, and yeah. So yeah. That, that's so the that reason. El- yeah, yeah. I never that, took it like that. I never took it like that. That whole thing awesome. was fun. Yeah. That's, that game was great, dude. That, that game part was two was dude. freaking Amazing. You, I, in my defense, I've never played part one. I've only done the part one comic thing. The comic, that they, yeah. <laughs> that it has in the beginning of it's part a, two. And nowadays, I will, that, that's yeah. the w- proper way to do it. Yeah. That said, there's a character <laughs> from part one that I have never seen. It doesn't exist in my playthrough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I, ch- I chose somebody else. You yeah. know what I mean? So it, it, that it the, is. Yeah. That, was a, that yeah. was the thing with, with, yeah, with Mass Effect. Your decisions gave you the impression that because I'm not going to say I'm not going to sit down and defend that it was perfect it was really good for what it was even I 3 it was really great yeah yeah even 3 which I I felt it didn't uh, it, it didn't I, I, I thought it was fine you know obviously the things with the ending I never saw what the new ending was but I heard that it was not even worth going the second yeah. the second time just for it so I didn't but uh you but can still. YouTube it. it's not really that big a difference though. no 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 so but 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 even th- even then it was like okay well this chapter is closed mm-hmm. so uh, you can imagine how excited I was to hear that a, a new mass effect was was happening yeah. even though I was a little concerned of oh well, this is not gonna be uh Shepard, but that's okay yeah, it's okay we're done it doesn't that. always have to be the same uh, protagonist. Yeah, but, uh, it's, it's, it's it's almost the same as if they would have announced Halo 4 but it's not master chief you know uh, as, 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 at some point, 
I think I would have been okay with it. Mm-hmm. But just off the top, it sounds like, oh, no, then yeah. I don't want to have anything to do with it. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm also a big fan of the series. Um, that particular trilogy, I should say, or I guess duology, because I only played the last two. Um, I like the second one so much. I did play it to completion twice. But the reason I did it the second time was because by the time three rolled around, three starts off. It tries to it tries to start off with a really big bang as well, which yeah. it wasn't bar, it was it wasn't bad. But they really peaked with the with the the beginning of part two. Yeah. Um. However, there were characters and stuff there. They kind of know each other, and I'm going. I don't know these people. Uh-huh. Who the hell is people? So I was like, you know what? Let me just start over. And I remember I had played uh, as a male ship on the, my first playthrough of uh, mm-hmm. part two. So when I did the playthrough over, I was like, let me switch over to Fem Ship. You yeah. Know what I mean? And I basically kept her. And obviously, that's the one I carried over to Mass Effect 3. Um, and so it, uh, it's, that's, how, that's how I completed the, the second one twice. And going through the second one again was a lot of fun. Oh, uh, yeah, I can imagine. Blast. Um, so yeah, so let's get to his um, his tweet here uh, and his defense of Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, first off, the question was not: Is Mass Effect Andromeda secretly a great game? And did Mean Nintendo make it fail? <laughs> did Mean Nintendo? Mean Nintendo, yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, okay, Mass this F- guy is kind of cuckoo now. It, already. No, no, he's saying it's not that. He's oh. not. He's not saying that. So don't, oh, okay. you know, don't think that this is what he's trying to say. Okay. okay. Uh, he says uh, Mass Effect Andromeda uh, is a deeply flawed game, especially at launch. <laughs> uh, but you saw the video. Yeah, it's not <laughs> an understatement. But the review environment at that time was, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm adding something here. So I'm going to read it uh, verbatim here. Yeah. Uh, but the review environment was crowded. Near, Neo, Horizon, and Zelda all launched within Mass Effect Andromeda's window. Each does something better than Mass Effect Andromeda. Again, a flawed game. <laughs> As a result, even systems that are pretty decent get scrutinized against superiorly implemented ones. Uh, does launching in a different window turn a 72% to a 90? Certainly not. However, it can turn a, a 72 to a 77, maybe 78, maybe. Uh, does that affect sales? Some. But word of mouth matters so much these days. And here's the thing. That's the nature of the industry. You don't have full control over when you launch and no control over when others do. Um, Dragon Age Inquisition benefited by how tough a year 2014 turned out to be for games. You launch the best game you can. Mass Effect Andromeda had a lot of problems and got lapped by genuinely, gen, genuinely better games. Uh, and of course, he goes on here and, and he's a lot of back and forth with people who are, you know, who are looking at him like, dude, seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but um, so I wanted to I wanted to uh, uh, bring this up. Do you think other than the fact that obviously it was flawed, as he says, if it had released in a window says similar to like right now where there's nothing big, um, do you think it would have been read to receive? Do you think that the mind share with all these massive good games that are happening right around it uh, mm-hmm. suddenly look at it and go, mm. I, I uh, do. I respect your 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 uh, your opinion, but I had to wholeheartedly disagree. Mm-hmm. And the reason I do is because you have, let's say me as a game uh, as a gamer, I have played all three Mass Effects. I know what to expect. I know what to expect from a Bioware game. I know that Bioware has a, a Bioware game has disappointed me superbly. You know, so it's not that I don't think this company is infallible. Mm-hmm. Infallible, you know they they could they could they could fall down and they can fall down hard. Dragon Age Two was garbage, and I will always say that because it was a bad game. Um, <laughs> that said, nowhere in my in my mind I would have imagined a more atrocious uh, uh, release. Uh, of a Mass Effect game than Mass Effect Andromeda because the game was overly buggy. First of all, let's start with the fact that the game was not polished. Oh. Or, or And I'll tell you why. There's a reason. This is not me just saying because I I never, I never did not play Mass, Mass Effect Andromeda, but I it, 
I well, had. Purpose, a, I, I think we purposely avoided it. I would probably, like, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it was. It was not. It did not look good. And why would I at that point? Why would I subject myself to it? But I had a morbid curiosity of finding out what the hell went wrong with this game. You know what? And there are reasons. Mm-hmm. When I say the game was not polished, it's not me just. Oh, those graphics look silly. Oh, he's making, you know, she's making a silly face or he's making a silly face. Therefore, this game is unpolished. Yeah. Zero out of five. You know, it's, it's not that. There is there, there is a substantiated report uh, of the reason this game was literally released unpolished. Yeah. There was not it enough was time. Yeah. There was there was not enough there was not enough time to uh, to dedicate for uh, for it. Uh, this game had a rough uh, development cycle and Instead of doing what should have, you know, the, the the right decision over here, even though I know when we game is hated when we hear it, is to delay the game. Yeah, you know, but this game definitely could have benefited of of a, of a delay, at, and I'll tell you why in a moment. But um, you know, going back, he says that oh, it's because so many great games got released at first off. Well, that is hardly an, an argument because all those games together. Uh, you know, in between each other, I mean, have the same, same opportunity. Score. Yeah, and they, they also s- have, they're all like game of the year material. They're all, yeah, yeah so they're all game of the year material. one of them is overshadowing the other. No, you know no, I mean? no. So. There, you know, there was there was no reason. And, and your mass effect, you know, you're, yeah, exactly. you're expected not to be like, right up there with them. Correct. It's not like this is a new IP no. that has to be matched with these, you know, massive. You don't Hello, need- Horizon was a new IP. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, that was one of them, so... You've yeah. done this, you 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 you've done this before, and 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 and, and to my point is all, all those games had the same opportunity, and all those games, sh- you know, shown their light, the the way that Mass Effect and Dromeda could have, and didn't because it was rushed to the market. Mm-hmm. I tell you why it was rushed to the market. If you care to know yeah. a little bit more, yeah, yeah, all right. So 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 here's the this, thing: this, this the rush to the market uh, portion of it will stand. To completely, you know, contradict his statement, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah. So right, it's right. important. Yeah, it, it, right. It, it's important that, that that you know. And this is this came out. I don't know if you guys remember that was a report. Uh, I want to say it was. Oh my goodness! I'm, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna remember. It's like there's a Kotaku, uh, you know, article? report well, article where they went uh, deep and they interviewed some people, uh, you know, uh, related to it, and they got some, you know. Uh, they, they were very investigative on on, on that. You got to give them uh, props when they do. Kotaku's good with that, man. Especially Jason Schreier over there, man. He's he's mm-hmm. yeah. His articles are serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, they're they're you know they uh, there's some stuff that are a little clickbaity, but when when they have to do a serious matters like this one, they actually you know do their job and they mm-hmm. they they investigate. So anyway, that the 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 thing that was said was that. This, uh, this game, they were working on it, um, but EA wanted to make sure that this game was done in uh, Frostbite. The Frostbite engine, yes. It needed to use a Frostbite engine. The previous games did not did use not Frostbite. Use it, no. They were using, I forgot the name of the proti- proprietary. I, I was going to ask, uh, I was actually going to ask you that. Do you mm-hmm. think, because we were watching the thing over and the guy at the presentation shows, oh, we're going to do this in the Frostbite and all this, mm-hmm. the new Frostbite engine. And I wanted to know uh, if you thought that had that that was a major uh, hurdle for them because now they're having to essentially learn a new engine and then work within this engine. And then on top of that, I think bio this was Bioware Montreal or not the, not the major Bioware. Uh, this was a smaller team. Um, I don't remember which one it was. Let's find out because this, that that is important. But keep asking. Keep asking. No, I wanted to know if that's. Uh, do you think that that had a uh, a major impact on it? Uh, absolutely. The and, and by the way, research which Mass Effect, uh, yeah. which studio was it? Uh, so so the, so this and and this was also also told. They wanted us to work with uh, Frostbite. Frostbite, as great as, as, as of an engine it is, because it does render some beautiful graphics. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's not the be on end all, and it was not an engine that was uh, capable to do, or, or it was hard to it, it was hard to to develop uh, a the proper menu system, mm-hmm. the proper RPG element, you know, the all, all all that entails an RPG game 
uh, which is different from, uh, you know, your typical first person shooter or everything else that they use the frostbite because now they use frostbite for everything. So it's not to say yeah. it's impossible to do. It's no, just no. that they were they were but very new never, with this. Yeah, if they've never used it before, then how would they know? Yeah, yeah so they were having problem after problem with that. And it was coming out. I think the description that it was done, it was like, you know, it was programmatic. We tried to work on a system. And then when we had the system packed down mm-hmm. and we started working on the other part, on, on something else, now the first system that we worked on, we could see it falling apart. Yeah. You know, so and and that was in itself. It's a nightmare. Also, coupled that with the the fact that the animation, it, there has been so many memes and gifs and mm-hmm. jokes about the, the facial animation of Mass of Mass Effect Andromeda. It was because uh, they were not even using the same uh, the, the 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 same software to do that. I want to say they instead of using Maya, which is what they what they use on the previous one. They were using something else. I'm, I'm sorry, the names escaped okay. me right now. Something different, but it was something yeah. different. It was a different, it was a different software, and 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 then it was it, it, it was difficult to 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 actually. To, I mean, again, you're trying to learn. You yeah. you're learning. You know, not to say that these people <laughs> don't know how to use the. Obviously, no, they know, no, no, but yeah, yeah. So clearly, they they wouldn't be <laughs> wouldn't be there if they didn't know what. No, they were so doing. They, but they, I mean, it does it does cause setbacks. A uh, new engine can cause setback, uh, setbacks. That's why um, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn took forever. Uh, for forever, to, yeah, yeah. You know, because they basically uh, uh, was it the Decima engine. They yeah. uh, they had to basically use that and uh, you know learn to use it, learn to use it well. And credit to to Sony mm. um, to giving them you know the enough leeway to yeah. just make it good. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, yeah. We'll we'll delay if we have to, whatever. Uh, obviously, EA is not like that. No. <laughs> you know, EA no, has, they has to, lines, yeah. They, they and, and they, of course, they had a set release date. They want to make sure that they made. I think they were saying that the game and the story and everything started come together eighteen months before shipping before release. Yeah. That is that sounds like a lot of time. That is no time on gaming developing time. No, that is by you know eighteen months before you should have a, a good alpha. You know, and and I, 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 well, okay. I gotta preface this. I don't want to sound like an armchair developer. I I clearly don't know no, what no, it no, entails. No, no. Yeah, yeah. I know crunch time is hell mm-hmm. and all that. I'm just I, I I'm just voicing the what 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 were the the, the, the what was said on that mm-hmm. on, the, on that investigative report. Correct. You know, there was they were say, they so were saying that's not enough time. Mm-hmm. You know, to to go so. Everything was kind of like cobbled up together, and yes, they have some improvement. The battles, the 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 fight, the you know, the battle was the shooting. The shooting, uh, evidently, was great. Yeah. The shooting mechanics yeah. and the battle mechanics were great. Mm-hmm. You know, for the, the, you know, that's why I kept hearing a lot of people that that like the the like Mass Effect. Um, and yes, they have fixed it enough to where if it was released at the stage that it is right now, I can see, I can concede that. 77 that you're talking about 77 78 you know, maybe even 80 yeah depending well again there was a little bit of to say about what well, the story was and, oh, okay. and all that yeah, so there say, was yeah. the, you know but okay. but at least it wouldn't have been i mean this game was so buggy that i was surprised that it actually got 70s you know cuz i mean you would, I, I feel like we sh- we would be more critical about I would, ass- Broken I would assume. Engine. Yeah, I would assume that yeah. it would be more uh, critical. P- ten people tend to be. Um, so that's yeah. what I'm saying when it yeah. says it, it was, you know, it was an unpolished release, and and no, I think everybody had a fair shake. Everybody was, you know, did I what think they so. Did. Yeah, I think because uh, it's a window, and he, they, it was nothing, uh, nothing right on the same day or anything like that. Uh, but I, but I even agree. if it was, yeah, even if it was, yeah, hey. it, it, it's still, it's still. Uh, it, I think it did. I think it did get a fair shake. Um, Mass Effect think, 2 got released at the same time as Street Fighter 4. And I know those are different, very different. Very but different. There, was, there was three, actually, there was three games. I'm forgetting which one was the third one. I want to say it was a Nintendo game. But uh, but there were three games on that same day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, don't by give the way, me that it was BioWare in Montreal. By, That's BioWare the, Montreal. That led development on Andromeda. I, oh, okay. So, that bre- so, so there's another element mm-hmm. to that that is very important. So, they have BioWare Montreal. Uh, not to discredit those people at all, they they are they they, they are super talented over there, mm. uh, but you're no longer giving your flagship title 
to your flag heat, uh, ship yeah, uh, to, to the, the A team. team. You're, yeah, you're giving yeah. it to the B team. Yeah. And, and, and even that, like, I don't like using those terms because it sounds like, oh, you, you, you're just, you know, you're not no, good no, enough no. to be the A team. You're B True, team. But I mean, you have to get, you have to. You have to look at it this yeah, way. You yeah, have to yeah you do have to hierarchy. You correct, have to yeah. put it on there the hierarchy. There is a hierarchy. Obviously, yes, the, absolutely. the B team is called to be not that they're not capable, uh, but clearly they don't have what it, you know. So they're they're yeah, more like yeah, the support yeah. team correct, at that yeah. point. And, and they actually were make, they were the ones behind all the um, DLCs for the original. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's so, what I was yeah, saying. Yeah. That's what I was saying. You know, so they B are team, capable, yeah. They, they're very capable, but they were. A support team, mm -hmm. you know, for for internet purposes, and and when you, this is you have your multi, uh, you have the multi million dollar franchise. You give it to your your B team, and you know, let's say they could have done an amazing game because I that happens all the time. I mean, look at well, that happens all the time, mm -hmm. but uh, but 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 on top of that, you're not giving them the proper support because you're saying no, you have to release now and you have to use this tools. No, it has to be frostbite. Mm -hmm. It has, and to, it be has frostbite to be by this because we time. want that bullet point and it has to be by this time. So now you're not helping them at all. You know, this actually, I wouldn't be surprised if quote unquote a team would have fucked up just as bad. Well, you know, cl yeah, point. clearly the a team. Uh, yeah, exactly. If you're going to limit the time frame, you know, even the a team, it was like, uh, yeah. there's only so much we can do with the time that we have. So, yeah. Um, on top of that, on top of that, uh, they were getting very little support uh, from 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 the the, the main team of uh, I want to call it the main team because eighteen sounds yeah. kind of silly. Uh, so, so so from the from the main uh, developers of, of Mass Effect because they were busy working oh, on yeah. their project uh, the, their project Dylan, which they called because for some reason they were referring to this game as. It's going to be the Bob Dylan of games, <laughs> which I don't know what the hell that means. I feel like it's in the <laughs> team like, being the Bob that. Dylan. <laughs> you know what exactly? Like I like I don't understand what that. But okay, that that that's fine. This game, as of course as you know, ends up ended up, ended up being uh, anthem anthem. Yeah, you know which they, which is looking great. It is. It, it's it's looking, the eighteen. So, it is looking yeah, you know fantastic. It's the eight. Anthem team, <laughs> the A Anthem team. Yeah, I I I love the fact that I, I love the fact that game looks great. Uh, my lovely wife has delivered us some goodies right Something now. It looks good, uh, sir. Uh, why don't you take a bite of that? Okay, and and describe it. That is, it's not it's not hot or anything like that. Uh, As in, spicy? if you can bring it. No, it's, uh, I can't reach it. Yeah, thank you. Thank uh, you. This oh. is whoa. <laughs> We can't go back to our old ways of eating while podcasting, uh, but I want you to I take a bite. Can. <laughs> <laughs> you can show if you can do a demonstration. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> wow, this it, is good. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? What, what is this? You don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Oh, it is Colombian? a Colombian thing. Oh, okay. It is like a cookie that has dulce like de leche inside yeah large wafer crackers yeah um and inside yeah dulce de leche cookie. dulce de leche yeah 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 i'm gonna put them here and uh i'm gonna eat mine because <laughs> <laughs> sure <laughs> because uh, i'm digging it <laughs> oh yeah i'm totally digging it flour wafers yes large flour wafers. okay so la large flour uh, wafers they have dulce de leche in the middle yeah dulce de leche in the middle and they taste amazing i love these things thank you babe Oh, that was awesome. So, 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 uh, so, yeah. So, Anthem is looking so good, sir. Yeah, it is. And, and you can tell, you know, okay, they are really focusing all the, the, all, all the resources, all the resources yeah. here. So, I'm not surprised that Mass Effect Andromeda came out like it is. It's just a shame because it's almost like you gave, like, like this, this is a big franchise and you gave it a little care. And now look what happened. Suddenly you what lost. Happens, yeah. the, suddenly you lost the. It's weird because it's like, and I'm sorry, guys, but this stuff is good. But this um, is the mouthful yeah. as it was originally intended. <laughs> um, it's weird because it's 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 this weird thing where it's like, why would you risk getting a uh, giving you know your 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 like you said your flagship? Why would you risk tarnishing it? You yes. know what I mean in any way. Um, and I think There's I honestly no I just think release, for me release. personally I just think EA. And this is just not me trying to attack EA or anything like that, but oh, I'll attack me, EA. Uh, I just think EA feels 
that it's just not that important. You know, it's not. It's that's not surprising. A, yeah, I, I I feel I feel that's what I'm saying. Cause that's how they're treating it. It's not important. Okay. I'm not. I, I I mean, I can't imagine. I think AA has. I mean, but I Bioware will look at it like that's our flagship. We really can't screw this up. But EA is like, look, do what you got to do. You need to be working on it. I think they were obviously because because here's the thing: when the game got released, when the before the game got released, you know how they do those mock up um, reviews. Mm-hmm. They were doing on the mock up reviews. They were doing well enough, yeah. you know. Uh, to the point where they were expecting, you know, it's not going to be like a 90 or anything like that, but they were expecting like 80s, like low 80s, yeah. which would have put it which at is, a, it's, yeah. this is a good game. This mm-hmm. is this is a viable game. You feel free to spend your hard sixty sixty dollars or, you know, $200 on whatever collector edition <laughs> they were going to do. <laughs> but no, they, you know, not, not, not even that. So I don't, I, I, I don't feel like EA was like not caring. I think it was more like they expected them to do better. To do better. Yeah. And unfortunately, because of the, you know, miscommunication and maybe even maybe management. I mean, I, you have to kind of have yeah. help, some, you know, help people account, accountable. You know, this was not coming through together. Uh, this should have actually been delayed. Uh, we have a much better product than what was released. Mm-hmm. The problem is... Now you're being reactive rather than proactive. Yeah. Yeah. Now you you made it better, and, and you let's say you you say you fix all the the the, the silliness the facial, with yeah. the facial animation and stuff like that, and with the animation stuff like that, but at the cost of your reputation, yeah. at the cost of that of of that type of, of that uh, uh, IP. Because yeah, now, IP, well, who knows if they're going to return to that anytime be, soon? Yeah, it'll be very difficult for me to get excited about the next Mass Effect because I don't want Andromeda two. I don't want anything that has to do with Andromeda. And what are they going to do? Reboot it or do a different another story? Another again, yeah. another take? That's the only way they can do it. Uh, uh, unless they retcon Andromeda completely. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I don't know how it ends to know if it's on a cliffhanger or anything like that. I don't think it would be, but. Um, I'm sure they could just be that's a separate story. It's you know, it's a story on its own. Now we're doing Mass Effect Titan or something like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> Mass Effect Titan. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, so I, I think we both agree that it got a fair shake and yeah. it just didn't live up to what it needed to live up yeah, to. Yeah, I feel like. And uh, Mr. Mark from uh, BioWare. You're just a little salty, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're just a little salty, <laughs> which I can understand. Which hey, I can understand if yeah. you be, if if you were working, and I know you were, you know, working, working hard, hard sure, off yeah. on, mm-hmm. on that because nobody releases a game to fail. Nobody wants exactly. to create a, a poor exactly. game. Uh, so we have some comments on the uh, on the group, and I wanted to bring them up real quick. Uh, starting with Mister Mark Gurley, uh, he says that I enjoyed Andromeda. It wasn't like the original, but it was good in its own right. Uh, story was great. Interaction with NPCs at times felt rushed. Uh, the mm-hmm. mechanics, while got better with updates, started off gr- uh, glitchy. Uh, so yeah, so that's pretty much uh, on in line with everything. And, I, and <laughs> I'll saying. be and I'll be curious to to know which version did you play? Was it a ladder? You know, when it was already released a, a while back when when it got patched? Sounds or like was he, this sounds like he released? got it early and then he saw the improvements to the patch is what mm-hmm. I'm gathering from what he said. Uh, Adam Gurr, he comes in with, I really wanted to like it, but I felt the game was slow and repetitive. All the worlds you explore felt like the previous ones, but with a different <laughs> skin. I couldn't finish it and wish Both I did play Dragon Age. I mean, Dragon Age. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dragon Age drop it. I want to call it Dragon Age Inquisition. Or two. Or Dragon, Dragon Age, no, don't yeah. play Dragon Age, but that's for a completely different reason. <laughs> well, well, I mean, he's. Well, he's I like is very I, I like simple. Inquisition. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that he, it it sounds very similar to the complaints of Dragon Age Two. Oh, where he's saying that all all the worlds you explore feel like the feel like the previous one, but with different skin. That was a big <laughs> issue with the dungeons in uh, Dragon Age. Wasn't yeah, it? Dragon Age Two. Uh, I couldn't finish it, and I wish I did not. I didn't get it the day it came out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he and did. It was a day one adopter. Uh, that those are the risks uh, you have. You were you were a pioneer, just yes. like just like the just like Commander whatever his name is. is a pioneer. Shepard. I think no. The <laughs> new no. The new one is not Shepard. The new oh, one is, um, uh, yeah, I forgot. Commander whatever he was mm-hmm. and his yeah his sister or something like that. What what is he? He is a Pathfinder. Pathfinder. <laughs> that's what it is. He's that's the Pathfinder. Right. Pathfinder. 
Jason Farrow. More like a Nissan Sentra. Am I right? Am oh, I right? Wow. Ah, right here. Wow. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Jason Fariolo uh, chimes in. Didn't get a fair shake. Is that like getting your dick <laughs> shaken <laughs> by a hooker? Uh, and Stop. it wasn't what you Stop. expected. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> all right. No. So we, to all, in all honesty, uh, many games don't ever get a fair shake. Most of them uh, don't cry about this. Andromeda didn't get a fair shake. No. Oh, no's. Uh, given Mass Effect's past history being a series that is beloved by a lot of people, mm-hmm. you would think the devs would try to keep up with the quality of the games before it. However, they didn't. Mm-hmm. So to me, this is fair. Uh, mm-hmm. It would be like if the devs who made Fear 3 said they didn't get a fair shake, but yet the game still cannot cannot, and will not live up to the first two games before it even is given a fair shake or not. Same and, for Andromeda. And shout out for, bring, for, for integrating bringing up Fear, yeah, 3 Fear 3 into, into the conversation. My God. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, and the final comment here, Yango Espinosa. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. I have over... 1200 hours plus of game between what? well between the trilogy oh okay uh it was engaging storyline mass effect uh being me being a military uh military guy i always resonated with shepherd yeah. soldier class all three uh the thing with shepherd especially oh when, wow, he played all three yeah soldier class nice. yeah. the the thing with shepherd especially when you're when you had to choose who would die in Vermeer, uh to the story of killing the batarians and hold on, I gotta see more here. <laughs> uh, and being called the butcher of Torfan, but using the trilogy as a way to atone for what Mass Effect engaged me. Um, Mass Effect th- by Mass Effect Three EA's money grab bullshit. Fucking <laughs> <Started laughs> up the quality of the game, and you could tell, special especially with that bullshit ending. Uh, what kept? Oh my god, this goes long, dude. This guy's. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, uh, he's yeah. very passionate, obviously. Gonna, you know what? I'm going to move. Try up. to make it shorter for the next one, but I, we're going to give the opportunity. You know, please indulge me. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, I lost my place here. What kept afloat a fan loyalty, but the limit had to be uh, had been reached. What kept them afloat was fan loyalty. Gamers <laughs> have put the foot down and demand quality. And what and that's what pissed fans off. The graphics like seriously. Why the awful graphics? Uh, did the quality control get fired? Uh, like who allowed this uh, t- to be okay and re- uh, okay and released? I would personally find Aubrey. that I would personally find that person, <laughs> and I'm 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 changing it up here a little bit. <laughs> uh, then uh, okay, we, we'll have to go into the okay. social justice thing. But anyway, so clearly he is a big fan of uh, <laughs> spending 1,200 hours in there, uh, but at the same time. Not a fan of the Andromeda series. Uh, so, yeah. So that uh, that there brings us to the end, sir, of an awesome episode 116 of GG's The Mouthful Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. As always, please go to goodgame.tech and join the conversation there. Uh, and please like, subscribe, and share the podcast with everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Mad Dog signing off for this week, Mr. Santos. I want to. I'm going to enjoy this cracker. Yes. I'm going to enjoy this cracker too. But before that, I want to congratulate. Yes. Our, a beautiful a beautiful union that union, happened. Yes. Uh, I believe it was today. There's some pictures. This, this was completely secretive. No, I think it was yesterday. Oh, it was yesterday? Yeah. Okay. There, there were some pictures of flow. Nobody knew about this. But... Uh, of course, we're talking of our awesome, awesome Chaos Reaper, uh, Gilberto Vega, and the wonderful and beautiful Stephanie uh, Muñiz uh, Vega. Yeah, Vega. <laughs> they have tied the knot. They have tied the The union knocks. of the Reapers. Yes. Oh, yes. It's yes. a bonus. Chaos Reaper. It's actually, Reaper, it yes. has happened. As, yes. as I wrote, as he has been always prophesied. Correct. And, it, uh, is it is known. It is known. It is known. <laughs> it is known. That they uh, are no, awesome seriously, together. Congratulations, guy, um, uh, guys. That is uh, is beautiful. I look forward to see some pictures. Uh, just um, yes, yeah, pick or it didn't happen. Yeah. No, I still, it didn't. Oh, it did, it has, <laughs> oh, okay, they posted it. Well, but, uh, still, yeah. that's that's great, guys. I'm very very happy for you guys. May the force be with you, especially Stephanie. Uh, uh, live long <laughs> and prosper. <laughs> oh uh, what else? Uh, 
may your days be long and your hardships few. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's from World of Warcraft. Oh, okay. And uh, <laughs> may the odds ever be in your favor? Yes. Something nice. like that? Okay, yeah. there you That's go. beautiful. There you go. Congratulations, no, guys. Seriously, we love you guys, and we're very, very happy for you. You guys are wonderful. So we'll, see, we'll see you guys uh, next week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.